morning, everybody! Sorry, there was a double loop. Um, I was finishing up one of my projects, <laughs> sorry. I was like, oh shit, five minutes? Uh, gotta fucking go Sonic fast! <laughs> I was recording something, but it's not completely finished yet, but it's supposed to be due today, or tonight, I guess, but I also have meetings, so yeah. <laughs> It's kind of been hectic. Um, so I, I have like maybe four, four, four and a half ish hours today ish because I have a meeting. Uh, it's at 6 p.m. PST, so about f five hours from now is when I actually have to go go. So I might leave like maybe an hour or 30 minutes early so I can like prepare for it. So yeah. So unfortunately, I, I can't stay for too long. But, I will try to go through this as much as I can within these four hours, so... Thank you, everybody. Also, thank you for the super! Thank you! Gift emojis? Is there... Is there gift emojis? I don't know. Does YouTube even do gift emojis? Is, is that a new thing that I've not heard of? <laughs> no? I was about to say... <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think YouTube does that. If they did though, I would've. I would've made all my emojis... ...animated. <laughs> thank you doll. And thank you me as well. Thank you, thank you. I'm doing good today, guys. Uh... Surprisingly, I went to bed early. Like, it's not really early. I mean... <laughs> 3 a.m. is not considered early, but to me it is, but... <laughs> I feel good today. Um, there was no coffee creamer though, I don't think. I think we ran out, so I have tea here instead. So, um, yeah. Um, I am very, very, very energized today. I feel good. <laughs> 3 a.m. Also, the funniest thing happened yesterday. I was, um, I was going through tw uh, Twitter and. We were talking about Danganronpa during stream yesterday, and somehow when I was scrolling through Twitter... Danganronpa suddenly showed up. Like, it wasn't even like people who liked or retweeted that I follow. It was just out of nowhere. Like, I don't know. It, it was from people I don't follow or... You know, you know how like Twitter shows like one or two things that you aren't related to who you follow or what other people like or retweet and stuff. It's just like the algorithm. Danganronpa showed up and I was like, what the hell? Where did you come from? <laughs> and so it was really random, but it also showed my favorite meme of all time. And it's that one guy where he's like... Um... <laughs> it's like that one TikTok of that Danganronpa meme. He's like, uh... Oh god, how does it, how does it go again? He's basically mocking, like, Danganronpa fans and stuff. We're like, you like Nagito? Or something like that, you know? If you, if you know it, you know. <laughs> but... And then he does the weird, like, dubstep you to sound effect at the end where it's like, wow, or something like that. I can't, I can't re mimic it, but it's like, yeah, it's like the snort. It's the snort at the end. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can Kokichi. Who do you can? Nagito. Wow. <laughs> I wish I could mimic it, but I don't have that sort of nose to do that or throat. I don't know what where it comes from. Throat or nose? I don't have that type of game. So, <laughs> but it's my favorite meme. I've laughed. I've laughed at that meme like every single time, and I can't stop replaying it ever. It's so funny. Every single time. But yeah, uh, let me load the game here. Kumakura office. I think this is where we stopped, but we already finished the office part of it. So, let's see. Link start! Oh, what is this? Is it showing me a recap? Whoa! Oh, that's such a cool way to load the game! It shows, like, image recaps of what you've been through. That was awesome. Well, now I sort of remember what we did. Alright, so we gotta go back to the headquarters now. Let's go. Wow. 
Oh, that's right. Uh... Gotta look at everything first. Are they gonna do the dashboard joke? The Zweihander. <gasps> that's a broadsword. Broadsword? Zweihander? Is that a reference? Oh, that's gotta be. That's gotta be a reference. Zweihander. Or whatever they said. I know it's German. Uh, okay, there's nothing here. It's just a big sword? Oh. Date, last night when you were asleep, I snuck out and put something inside the glove box. What'd you put? What? Flower in a plastic bag. Why would you do that? What? I'm a cop! <gasps> gotten that unless he said something about him being a cop. <laughs> That's so funny. I still cannot contact her. Her phone is either off or out of range of cellular signal. Uh-oh. Are you worried about her? I mean, yesterday there was definitely something wrong. Oh, that's right. I saw it in Mizuki's Somnium. There was something wrong. Iris's body. Frozen solid. Um, let's scream. G -g Ghost! <laughs> I've been here for several minutes now. <laughs> Could you not come out like that? Why not? <laughs> if people see you, they'll freak out. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. Oh. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Oh. Right. <laughs> but returning to your answer... Why would people freak out if they saw me? Uh... Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? <laughs> people would think I'm a pervert. <laughs> True. They would think if that she was cosplaying or something. Things, I will self-destruct. No! Don't self-destruct. Do you really self-destruct? An AI never lies. <gasps> so, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct in my eyes? AI socket? never lies, everybody. Your skull you hear that? The balloon. Now you gotta be careful now. <laughs> Might even have that function. My body is full of cutting-edge technology and state secrets. In terms of hardware as well as software. I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What? What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence How could they of the steal you? itself. They would have to go and dig My through that his eyeball. My self-destruct is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. Um... About your self-destruct function? Does they really want her to self-destruct? Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. <gasps> Asimov! I myself. Wait, However, that sounds kind of familiar. A person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. You have such authority. <gasps> so... about... <laughs> Let us determine a code number. <laughs> One that will activate the detonator. Command four one two zero five. Wait, really? If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the, the first second twenty command, numbers of one pi, of the first. What is the second command? Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? <gasps> a lie? What? You know, something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Mm, well, uh, uh, Understood. Um. 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 That's so risky. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. Huh? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud. 
Oh. All by wireless communication in real she time. She could just make a backup Even of herself. My, is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. <laughs> so you're basically immortal. Yes. Immortal. As long as the server is alive. <gasps> How'd you come up with that number? Yeah, I was wondering. Hey, about that five-digit command. How did you come up with that number? Why not 42069? It is my number. There is no particular meaning. Really? Okay. Uh, commiserate? What is that? I'm already tired of this, Iba. What is commerce? That's not like you. Or com commiserate? Wrong? Shogo's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours, but our investigation has made zero progress. I'm sorry, I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. To share misery? Oh. I'm concerned about Renju. Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. Hmm. About me and Aiba. Six years ago, I lost my past. Names, addresses, family, childhood, everything. But that wasn't all I lost. My left eye. I don't know how I lost it. The e earliest memory that I have of it is me aimlessly wandering in the streets of Shinjuku. Until a good friend gave me a hand. Yeah? Come with me. What kind of hand are we talking where about? You belong. What if I did something bad? Boss helped me become a cop and assigned me to Abyss. A year later. What if I'm the bad guy? And I was just... I was just gaslit to thinking I was a good guy. All along. I was called into the control room where Pewter showed me something extraordinary. The official title is A.I. Ball. You may call her Iba. Oh! The artificial intelligence contained in this now. sphere Iba's is nothing for short, short of miraculous. For A.I. Ball. An autonomous artificial intelligence. <laughs> I get it! Birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Watch Special it. Agent Date, <laughs> from today forward, so this name. is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. I wish I had a personal little chibi companion in my, like, PC or something. It's been five years since. Five years and a number of tough cases. But... This time is different. Hmm... About Shoko Nadami's murder. About Shoko Nadami's murder. We still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Aiba, is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date, the line is connected. Oh. Really? What? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? What? Ah. Uh, say you're from the cabaret club. <laughs> <laughs> So the caller must be a regular there. <gasps> Do you plan on questioning everyone who's been here? <laughs> Wait, so really? Shoko's phone. I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. <gasps> if we call from that line... Oh? Right, he might pick up. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? <gasps> AI voice! Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and hear. Oh my gosh. She's gonna AI voice. voice. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Yeah, do it. Do a cover. Do a song cover. Well, then. Like Taylor Swift singing Oshinoko opening. Voice? <laughs> I yeah. do. Me? You're the only one who can. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. Are you sure you can handle this? <laughs> I am an artificial intelligence. <laughs> Have you seen that Taylor Swift Not cover? Prone to nervous Her singing I do like you. But you are savvy? All right, Hal, let's see what you can do. It's so good. And cursed at the same time, but it's so good. <laughs> it, it's connected. Oh, <gasps> it's ringing. Oh shit. I thought you said you did get nervous. I do. Uh, uh, I get nervous all the time when I try to call someone. Like, Calm if I need down, to call, like, breaths. like, a, uh, like, customer service, I get really nervous. <sighs> <laughs> this is me! What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. Focus, they're gonna hang up. Ah! Please. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Impossible. <gasps> Shoko is dead. Yes, I died two days ago. Ah! Idiot, why did you say that? Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister, Shoku. Ah! His name. Get his name. I can't. How? Oh, this is making me cringe. Um. So, um, you have a package? It, oh, wait. <laughs> Are you Yamada? <laughs> wait. I'm scared. What wait? Should I choose? I want to choose these other ones. <laughs> Accuse him of being an imposter? Actually, you know, so that would actually work, though. That would actually work. Caught him red handing? You're an imposter. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. <laughs> Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am so Sejima. <gasps> the congressman. A politician? The congressman! Sejima. Ew. Why had Nick, had Nick do that? Why? Why did he do that? Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? <gasps> oh, uh... Sorry, something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. Why so? Unknown. Hmm. But that was definitely so Sejima. He I has that pervy OG son face. Of him speaking. The UB? The UB look? <laughs> So Sejima is a minor celebrity. He even goes on TV sometimes. Two days ago, he called Shoko. Why? In any case, or that why? was an excellent performance, <laughs> was it not? Yeah, good job. Is that all? What? Do you want me to pat you on the head? Yes. No. I like I that. need it. I need it. I tapped my fingertip against my left eye. <laughs> Stop! It tickles! Ew! <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Stop! The nerve might break! <laughs> A call came in soon after. I don't know how to feel about that, guys. He was literally touching his eyeball. Date! A call from investigation. He was tapping HQ. it. <laughs> Connect me. Is this special agent Date from Abyss? <gasps> My name is Akaska from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. Oh. What is it? We got a phone call earlier. Uh oh. From a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. <gasps> a prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Uh oh. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. <gasps> and if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. 
I'll be seeing you. Damn, he has a hot voice. <laughs> this has to be a prank. That's what I thought too. That made me lip bite a but little I felt bit. I <laughs> Good idea. Thanks, detective. Good luck. That's interesting, though. Do you think it really is just a prank? I think that guy's well, telling the truth. To be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. But for now... That gives a lot. So, Sejima. <laughs> so, Sejima. That's a cool name, actually. <laughs> I'm not gay, but that voice. Well, maybe this is your awakening. You never know. I mean, I said the same thing till I met Megan Fox. <laughs> Sejima Residence, Sunday, 7.54 p.m. Hey, you can't be here without permission. I'll call the police! Oh. Oh. I am the police, bitch. What happened? <laughs> Sir. A uh, police officer. You. Yeah? Can I help you? I need to ask you a few questions. Looks like, seems like this guy I'm knows us. I'm a very us. busy man. You can ask me tomorrow during normal business hours. It's about Shoko Nadami. Ooh. You can't tell me you've never heard of her. I like As the BGM. Yeah. It was reported on the news that she was killed. Two days ago at 9.02 p.m., you made a phone call to Shoko Nadami. A phone call? I don't know what you're talking about. Bruh. Yes, you do. It's all... It's all in our logs, dude. You can't hide from us. Unless somebody took your phone and made that call. Thermo? Okay, wait, hold on. Why are you wearing sunglasses at night? <laughs> Don't those sunglasses make it hard to see? I made a face at him. No reaction. I guess he really can't see well in those. How much do you get paid? <laughs> hey, how much do you get paid? <laughs> what? I'm talking about cash, my friend. I rubbed my thumb against my pointer t fingertip in a circle. Probably double what you make. Oh. Really? I have a bring up a job search website. <laughs> On it. Your boss is a liar, you know. Your boss is a liar, you know. Aren't all politicians? Wow! That's surprisingly honest. <laughs> I mean, true, but like. <laughs> I can't tell these guys apart. This one will be B. <laughs> B is standing there. <laughs> He's not wrong, but also it's just so funny. Because, like, they obviously work for them. <laughs> I guess if it pays, it pays. <laughs> Got a girlfriend? Got a girlfriend? Didn't think so. Sorry, bud. Dang. I'm married. <gasps> this guy's domestic. His normalcy must be punished by death. Normalcy? <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? He didn't say a word. What's your blood type? What's your blood type? Okay, I'll guess. You're a B. Definitely a B. How can you tell? You're being rude. <laughs> I knew it. That attitude is so B of you. <laughs> yeah, B for bitch. <laughs> A bodyguard. I can't tell he's got, so let's just call him A. A is standing there. Alright, um... In that case, uh, before we talk to the guy, let's look around real quick. Whoa! There's so many things Hello, around Dante. here. Your favorite cabaret girl is here. That's just a lantern. Rika isn't that sturdy. <laughs> sturdy? Nope. Uh, big kab caboose? Kabosu. No, wait, that's a bush? It's a nice bush. Not a kabosu. What is a kabosu? I never... I don't know. Johnny Bravo! 
Hey there, sweet cakes. I heard this guy has an eyeball that can see a pretty lady whenever he wants. Where do I get one and be not a flavor? <laughs> ah, so cheesy! <laughs> ah, thank you, though. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen you. <laughs> look, a kappa. Kappa? He is a wealthy, powerful man. It is not surprising that he owns a pet kappa. I thought really? they weren't real. Really? <laughs> Give me cucumbers. What the? I feel like I heard a strange voice. Kappa! Kappa lives here, guys. We found one. Uh, okay, I think that's oh, arch-shaped stone bridge. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess that's it over here. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Uh, let me make sure I got everything. This place is cool. The Sejima Residence. Uh ooh, there's a fancy vase back there. Uh anything, anything, anything. I think that's all. Alright, um Thermo. Oh he hot. He raging hot in there. So much blood. Where's all this red coming from? Uh oh. It's a thermograph. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he's lying. How do I get him to admit it? Maybe see if he has an ASAP figure too. We can blackmail him again. <laughs> uh. Peel off his nails? Ew! Um. Bribe him or call him? <laughs> what if... I don't know what peel off his nails mean. I'm gonna see what that does, though. I should get some pliers to take his nails off. <laughs> I thought that wasn't your style. <laughs> the Higurashi method? Oh god, don't remind me. <laughs> call him. Aiba, call his phone again. Yeah, do it. Using Shoko's line. And then he can't say Understood. shit. You're not gonna pick it up? It's from Shoko. I had her give you a call. <gasps> what? <laughs> It'll stop ringing soon. <laughs> Three, two, one. <gasps> See? Oh my god. That's one way Fine. to scare someone. I did call. <laughs> Around nine o'clock, just like you said. Get fucked. Finally confessing? There's nothing to confess. I did nothing wrong. Then why did you lie to me? Yeah. Because I didn't want to get involved in all of this nonsense. Yeah, well, be not being involved you makes you criminal. I am a suspect. My call was after Shoko died. If I were the killer, why would I do that? I don't know. But I'm asking the questions. Do you have a warrant? <laughs> I thought not. I'll be leaving. Why do they always use that as a, a defense mechanism? Do you have a warrant? So went back. So went back inside his mansion. I tried to follow, but so his bodyguards blocked my path. Go home, unless you want to get kicked out. No. Look, a UFO. <laughs> Look, a UFO. <laughs> he didn't flinch. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the Mothman! Look, the Mothman! <laughs> he didn't flinch. Look, a grandma! Look, a grandma! <laughs> he didn't flinch. Look, a porno mag on the floor. <laughs> Look, a porno mag on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> Anything suspicious about so lately? No, nothing special. <laughs> Not any different from any other politician, anyway. I like this guy. <laughs> Do you know Shoko Nodami? I've heard of her, but I've never met her. 
I saw her on the news. I'm surprised he's even he's even talking to us. Why does Soul have a burner phone? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm, I think you do. What's the relationship between them? I don't know. Even if I did, it would be confidential. I see. So you don't know, which makes you bad at your job. So, about So's alibi. <laughs> do you know where So was Friday at 5 p.m.? Here, in the mansion. Can anyone corroborate that? Maybe the housekeeper. Date, a minute. Corroborate? What happened? Does so he mean, on the moon. What does corroborate mean? Like Most to add on car. to? Or to support How that? Do you know? I hacked his smartphone and I'm currently oh. tracking the GPS. Not his rental <clears> phone. <throat> the one that's like like verified. Under his name. Oh. Where is he headed? Unknown. Somewhere to the east. Hmm. Keep tracking him. Roger that. Uh oh. He running away. Oh shit. That's fast. <laughs> warehouse! Harbor Warehouse District, Sunday, 8 51 p.m. Nah, this is sus as hell. A big fight's gonna happen here. I just know it. A whole movie action scene's gonna happen here. Uh oh. Wow, he could have. What? That was way too obvious. He could have seen him. What was So doing here? Ooh, he hiding Dante, something. My apologies. What's wrong? My battery is low. Ah. Uh... Are you serious? Just, uh... Eat an energy bar. I guess it's not going to be a problem. I can still see out of my right eye. My vision halved and I went into... Warehouse. Oh, it's so cold. I see my own breath. What is that? Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like how stuffy it is in here. The hook is hanging from the sailing crane. Okay, uh... Oil drum? Oh, I don't like this, guys. I feel like a jump scare is gonna happen. Um... Cardboard box? <gasps> is this Metal Gear? Not a lot here. Is this warehouse not in use? And then once I turn around and look at the box, it's gone. Oh, yeah! Oh, it's still there. It's just a box. Uh, ice cutting machine. <gasps> Are we in a freezer? Is there a switchboard in the back? Are we in just like some giant freezer? What the hell? Okay, I think I examined everything. Okay. Something covered with the, a white cloth is on the table. This is. Please don't tell me it's a person or a dead person. Uh, it can't no. be. No. <gasps> oh my god! Iris. Her other eyeball's gone. It's not the left one, it's the right one. You know, something doesn't add up about Iris. There's something weird about Iba, her. What's your charge? Currently at 2%. I think... Can you make a call? I can. I feel I like there are the two Irises supply. or something. What do you... But I don't know. Hurry. This is just, just a hunch. Just me to boss. But like, there's something weird about her. 
Date, what's wrong? I found a body. What? She was murdered. Multiple stab wounds to the back. And one eye missing. Oh no. Location is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. <laughs> he said victim, you don't bet. The victim is Iris Sagan. Iris. I'll tell you more later. Just send CSI to the scene right away. And one more thing. Congressman So Sejima. Oh. Bring him to Abyss. Wait a minute, why? I'll take responsibility for everything. Just do it, please. <sighs> All right. Wait, so we didn't bring the body with us? We just left the scene? What if they have time to clean it up? Aww. Yeah, there's something weird about her. Like, guys, I really don't think that's actually her. See, the scene where it shows her back stabbed... Because real soon... I'm going to die. I don't know. I feel like there's like two of them or something. Damn it! The other one had multiple stab wounds on the back, and I don't think that's like... I don't know. I feel like she's like some robot or something. I feel like. They were hinting something about like metal or something like that, but I don't know. Police headquarters. 9.48 p.m. Sunday. Yeah, it was like 28 of them. I don't know. Do you honestly think you can get away with this? Funny. I was gonna ask you the same thing. Date, calm down. You know Iris Sagan, don't you? No, I don't. I've never heard of her. Hmm. Maybe he's lying. Maybe he's not. But even if he doesn't know her name. <gasps> oh my god! Down your rumpa! Okay, even though So doesn't know Iris, uh, I'm assuming we have to show something that. Maybe... Wait, let's see what these are. Oh, sorry. That's not what I wanted Iris's to do. Iris' body was found frozen in the warehouse. Her right eye was removed and she suffered multiple stab wounds to her back. There were no other visible wounds on her body. Okay, so, so this is talking about her body. From the size and shape of the marks, the murder weapon is almost definitely a knife. Possibly a kitchen knife. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's the warehouse. What? Oh, maybe... Mm, visitor. Iris was live streaming until 2 a.m. today. Someone visited her and interrupted the stream. <gasps> I hadn't been in contact. Was it him? Whoever visited her this morning almost certainly has something to do with the murder. Oh. Okay. This isn't it. Wait, how many... Okay, I don't... I'm trying to make sure it's not like the obvious, you know? <laughs> I don't know if it's like the obvious or... This is the image stored in the Persons of Interest database. Oh. Oh. Okay, it was the picture. That was my first option, but then I was hesitating it because what if showing wouldn't mean anything, but maybe... So you've never met her before? I have not. Have you seen her corpse? See? This is what he's just gonna do! Corpse? I know you've seen her body. Yeah, Based he's just what? literally gonna say... He's literally just gonna deny it. That's why I didn't choose that option, but I guess it's supposed to be part of the process. He saw her corpse? How? Wait. Oh, how did he see it? Where Iris was found... Probably this one, right? That one? But there's something else. So... A warehouse. Iris's body was found at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. What does that have to do with anything? I stood up and went to the corner of the room. I picked up the PC monitor and put it on the desk in front of him. This. Iba, play the video. <gasps> oh, right oh, God, in 4K. <laughs> Wait, where was this camera at? Hold up. That, that was not... That was literally a GoPro. Let's see. 
Then I suppose you know I was there. That was literally a GoPro right in front of his face. I didn't. <laughs> I was at the warehouse. How could he have not see seen that one? Don't lie to me. It's the truth. Then what were oh, you doing Oh, maybe there? Iba, I guess, if she was invisible. I choose to remain silent. Wow. You what? Remain silent. What a bitch. As is my right, guaranteed by law. Not the silent <sighs> treatment. <laughs> Remember that I am a politician. <laughs> I know my rights. Shut the fuck up. Date, can I get a second? What? Does it matter if he saw the body or not in this case? He's a busy man. If we hold him here too long... What? You want me to stop beating around the bush? He's a I busy man! And I'm a busy that man Sosa too! Is her killer. Or is at the very least involved in the crime somehow? Of course! He's literally yeah. denying anything! He doesn't want to Why say shit! Why don't ask him for his alibi first? His alibi... His alibi is... Hold on, let me read this. Iris's body was discovered at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse in the warehouse district by the harbor. Mm. Okiura Fishery? I'm assuming it's probably the visitor too. one, though. We'll that later. But I just want to make sure the that none of these mention someone else. But it's the probably... The blood at the scene makes it highly likely that she was killed somewhere else. Okay, I think it might be this one. Wait, no? But it is interesting. Okay, wait. Thinking about how Iris's body was frozen when I discovered it. It must have taken at least 18 hours for the body to freeze to that state. I entered the warehouse at 9 p.m. 18 hours prior to that was 3 a.m. Iris was last seen alive around 2 a.m. Mm. She was live streaming, so there's no doubt about the time. Meaning Iris must have been murdered between 2 and 3 in the morning. Mm, alibi. So's alibi. I mean, the only person that is ever like ever mentioned is the visitor or Iris's pictures. The other ones don't mention another person, so maybe it's Iris. No, maybe. Oh, maybe it's this one. Sorry. Iris was killed sometime between 2 and 3 in the morning. Do you have an alibi for that time? I was playing oh, Mahjong all for the night. time. Dur a place called Dora Dora in Shinjuku. I see. Politicians Oh, all he's night asking Mahjong like what he was doing at the time. An exclusive Mahjong. Oh, sorry. Yes. It's Mahjong, you should have had I three opponents with you. Indeed, I did. Thought he was asking like a specific person to back him up names. or whatever. Date, I did some research. Dora Dora is a private room mahjong parlor. Why does everything happen in mahjong parlors, man? <laughs> the rooms are private. That limits the number of potential. Mahjong <laughs> Soul's my only safe the place. <laughs> He's the only one we could ask about So's alibi. Everywhere else, it's Especially always visited by Yakuza. Three people he played against. He might as well not have an alibi. That's not much of an alibi, so... Please, this is ridiculous. You're First, ridiculous. First, you suspect me in the matter of Shoko Nadami, and now this? I haven't killed anyone. Not Shoko, not Iris. Besides, if I stabbed a woman, why would I bring her to a cold storage warehouse? Wait. <gasps> what did you say? Oh! Uh... But I remembered. He slipped up. If I stabbed a woman, so does know about the corpse. Because. <gasps> Is it the autopsy report? I knew it. I never mentioned Iris's cause of death. Oh, How shit. How do you know she was stabbed? Oh, because, shit. Because you did it? Oh, Don't be shit. Then how do you know? Stop you dodging the question up. and answer. <laughs> Boss, give me permission to sink. He can't hide inside his own head. Uh-oh. You've got it. Sink with him. Ninkustato! <laughs> Wait. Oh. Wait, what did we do? Did we tranquilize him? <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> Let's do it. I was like, wait, 
are right. we gonna do it right there and then? Or are we gonna like knock Please him out or something? The six minute time of it. <laughs> you say it every time. We really knocked him out and brought him all the way here. <laughs> Let us begin. That's so funny. Alright. Here's our second time sinking. Wow. There's another game I play that's very similar to this. Except it's a fashion dress-up mobile game. <laughs> it's basically the same thing. It's like a detective, um... case like this. Except, uh... It's like you go into the person's mind using mind simulation. What the hell is happening? <laughs> what Did you happen? witness my superior driving technique? Oh god. Yeah, I saw you get in an accident. No, and, and still live. I only pressed the wrong pedal. That's what you call an accident. Oh, look at that. Wow. Don't change the subject. She literally just changed Observe the subject. The surroundings. <laughs> Oh. Yotota. Huh. In a word, I'd say it's strange. Is that supposed to be a Maybe reference this is to Toyota? So nature manifesting itself. The man so that looks just like the logo of Toyota. I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, never mind. Uh, yeah, this is a real bad dream. Let's get the clues we need and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Yotota. What on earth is she doing here? Where's she going? What's up with her? How are these people all involved with each other? Oh! <gasps> oh my god! Oh! No, oh. oh, they're Naruto running. Oh! Oh! Iris! Oh, Jesus! We can't go any closer. Oh, we cannot. Jesus! The silhouette we saw. This is so Somnium. <gasps> During a sink, we experience the subject's dreams from a third-person perspective. In other words... It has to be him. I cannot say for certain, but probably. How is this all gonna connect with Shoko eventually? What's going on? Hmm. It appears that time is looping in this warped space. And we have to keep watching time her get stabbed? Looping? Can't you do something about that? What exactly do you propose I do? You're telling me I have to watch this scene over and over? Oh, I don't want to watch it either. God. Well then. I don't want to either. I suppose we can help her. We may then be able to ask this manifestation of Iris some questions. Uh -huh. huh? Sure. Do whatever you gotta do. I don't need to keep yes. seeing it. We have to save Iris, no matter what. Yeah. Iris, no. But to do that, it's we so gotta do something up. about that huge wooden box. But why does the guy Somnium look scan. purple? Activate. Why can't it just look like so? Wait, but... Now that we kind of know who it might be involved... Oh. Ah, oh, that's so down your rova. <laughs> the hot pink. The hot pink text and all of it splattered like that. It's the FNAF guy. How do you guys feel about the FNAF trailer? Like, do you think... Uh, what's his name? Sorry, I was about to say his Hunger Games name, PETA. But it's actually, uh... Is it... Is it Josh Hutcherson? Wait, what's his real name again? How oh, Iris Escape? Oh, shit. Oh, no! Time is ticking! Um... Where is she? Oh. So, I have to do something. Large box. A large wooden box. Push! I don't know. Oh, good. She has hu superhuman strength. <laughs> But it's right in the way. Wait, what did he say? A large wooden box. I forgot what he said. Oh my god. 
Oh, maybe we can use a forklift. A forklift? Uh... Drive. Oh. Roger that. Leap. Oops, sorry. Oh, log, right. But it's right in the way. Oh, that's what he said. It is time to unleash the Drift King. Oh, no. Didn't you crash a minute ago? Besides, the forklift is front-wheel drive. Uh... I forgot what that means. Wait! I'm a... <laughs> I'm a... She did not just reverse back into the ocean. Wait, but there's, there's a... something here. Oh. Maybe you should jump in. You might unlock a bonus stage. <laughs> Do you have the mind of a child? He does, actually. You picked up a timey. That has a negative effect. Can multiple times or force you to use them? If you pick one up, be careful. No! A mysterious warp space suddenly appeared. Throw a pebble. It appears to be connected to that place. Oh. The sound makes it hard to believe it was a pebble. It's a portal. So then, a Five portal. Left, okay. Scream. What's that gonna do? Hello. How are you? Will it break the box? Shut up. <laughs> Okay, I guess not. A portal. <laughs> I should have used the. <laughs> I should have used the. Put your hand in. Here. Yeah. My hand. I just didn't know what she would do yeah, with her I hand. Oh wait, she could pick it up. Must. It must be bigger than the box. Maybe. Should have done that. <laughs> oh, I've seen a boss character like this before. Oh, um, wait. I'm trying to think what he's talking about. Oh, these are like obstacles. I'm gonna move it out of the way. Oh. Ah! Uh, are those boxes in the way too? We do not have time to move each one. If only we could use that crane. Maybe. Okay, we got one. We have... We still have time. This is okay. Alright, now... We gotta go... We have to get over there somehow. Wait, don't tell me we have to use portals. Shit. What is this? A door to the warehouse. I cannot see inside. Peek inside, maybe? Maybe just in case, for safety. Why does peek sound so perverted? Isn't that perfectly normal to say in this situation? I think she you means sound like the kind of man who uses the word trim, unironically. Trim? That isn't important right now. <laughs> so I was right. I agree, no. trim is a little... Just look, please. A little much. Well, if you really want me to... Okay, look, look, look. Oh my. What is it? <gasps> Did you see something dirty? <laughs> Shut up, pervert. <laughs> Wait. I didn't see the, the crane. Wait, but that is the place though, isn't it? A that, door to the warehouse. That has to be. That, I see the lined up... Cr the lined up things. In that other side, right there. You see those... Uh, Yoto tub boxes? I saw it. But I don't get it. Maybe let's check another one. A warehouse door. Uh, you have to knock or listen. Mm. I don't know about that. But are all these all of these are locked though, huh? A warehouse Oh shoot. Maybe let's listen. 
I hear a dull impact at regular intervals, like a knife plunging into meat. Ew. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I don't think I like the sound of that one. The warehouse door. Let's listen. Hmm? I thought I heard the voice of a woman. She sounded frightened. Ah. Uh. A warehouse door. Uh oh. Freak! A warehouse door. Oh my god, it's gonna make me use one. No matter what, right? Ah. Okay, this woman better be useful. Is anyone there? No response. Even if there was someone there, they might not answer. Damn it. Oh no! Why is there so many doors? A warehouse. Uh. Oh shit! Listen. I hear the sound of dripping liquid. Occasionally, a spraying or squirting sound. By liquid, do you mean wording? blood? Unknown, but it is unnerving. I'm running out of time, everybody. Um. A warehouse door. What if I was right the entire time and I just wasted so much time? I hear laughter, but they're far away. I cannot tell who the voice belongs to. Uh oh. I think we should have went with our gut. I think we should have went with our gut and went through this one. A door to the warehouse. I cannot see inside. We're going in. Maybe we should have went with this one. Huh? That door should have led to the warehouse, but... No way. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. Control panel? Is this some kind of control panel? Oh my god. Input fighting game combo! 120 seconds! Okay, I think we should lower it, right? <sighs> no, it won't budge. Got it. Well, if that wasn't it. No way. It's a control. It panel. can't be the combo. <laughs> it can't be the combo, guys. There's no freaking way. Unless. <gasps> All right, guys. <laughs> it's gotta be the. <laughs> it's gotta be the combo. <laughs> the one that is difficult for humans to input. <laughs> oh yeah, god! I can't believe I'm doing this. Fine. Just be quiet. No. Wait, inputting that sequence of commands with the lever shaped like this. What? I think you can do it. I'll try. Oh my god. <gasps> no freaking way did that actually work. No freaking way did that actually work. Are you kidding me? It actually worked? Oh, it moved. The Are ring you serious? Out? That's a KO. <laughs> Oh god, not another one. If only she could fit through that gap. She probably could if she just tried. There's a third one. Oh my god. We are running out of time. Okay, how do we get rid of the barrels? Oh shit. Oh shit, hey. What is this? A warehouse door. No. No freaking way. 
a warehouse door. Oh my god. I don't even know where she's at. Delivery. I don't know where she's at. I've got to go. Oh, Jeebus. You have one minute left. Okay. Oh, she's right there. Um... Can we use the crane? Again? No? A crane. Oh. Ride. Not that I am against it, but... Can you not climb? I don't see any place to get a hold. Oh my god. Any place to hold? Dotto, you've got less than 30 seconds. Are you serious? I think I'm gonna fail. A wooden box hanging... Oh... No use. God it damn it, Iva! It is ground, or its cargo is extraordinarily heavy. I think or we're gonna fail. weak. Or your instructions are bad. I think we have to restart lazy. this. Or your breath smells like garbage. It's all Iva's fault. <laughs> it's all Iva's fault! A store. Oh. I'm curious. <gasps> What's this? Something came out. Oh my god. Edible seaweed made this way. Wait, to be we might have a chance. The the era. We might have Nobody a chance. Nobody needs to hear your superfluous narration. Go, go, go! Yes! Oh my god! We did it! That's it, right? No way. Tell me that was it. Are we clutching this? <laughs> the box hanging from the crane in the way now? Are you freaking was serious now? Under the wooden box? You have got Let's to be go kidding me. You have got to be joking me. There's a fourth one. Can we at least get some bonus time for completing one men mental lock? Oh. Well... Mm, um... Ah! Okay, I, I, I'm pausing this. <laughs> I need a moment to think! Um... So, I just need to lift up the box, but she said she couldn't get up there because... She needed... Oh, wait. No. Wait, what? You freeze time? As long as... You don't move? Oh. Uh-oh. It's freaking out again. What's happening? Uh-oh. It is moving, actually. Ah! What is this? I also put V-Sync on, but looks it looks like, like it didn't work. For you. Mm, peeking inside? I don't think that's gonna help, but... Um... I think we have to restart everybody. Yeah. It's over, everybody. A crane. It's over. It's over, everybody. Um. Yeah. It was a good try, though. We 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 made it pretty far. Unless. <laughs> One last thing. This is a mess. Self-destruct! <laughs> oh, I got smaller. <laughs> got any smaller, you get I'd rather... I must do one last thing. <laughs> Alright, time's up. Um... Alright, make an escape Dante, path. we're out of time. Yep. Damn you, so. How many secrets are you keeping? Yep. It's a game over. But that's okay. I know what to do now. I think looking at those... Wait... Checkpoint, right? 
Oh wait, why don't I just restart the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Restart. Let's just go from the beginning so we can save a lot of time. <laughs> the spin. <laughs> Did you witness my... Oh, oops. Skip. No! Wow, that's a really fast skip. I'm so sorry you have to hear that. Okay. Now. We got to move the fork. A forklift. We're gonna drive it. Roger that. Leave it to me. Okay. And then... A mysterious warp st We stick our... Uh, mother trucker. Stick your hand in. Here. Okay. We got that. And then we're gonna go to the open warehouse door. Left, okay. Thank you. A door to the warehouse. We're gonna go in. And then... We're going to... Go to the control panel. Is this some kind of... Cut this in half. And then use the game combo. The okay. Now we got to this point. And then... We gotta go back. I think. Okay. Oh. A warehouse door. Enter. I'm zooming. And then we gotta go past here. And then we gotta open this warehouse door. Oh. Okay. So then, now she gets past there. But now here's the part where I don't know what to do next. So if she goes... Uh, let's Three see. Minutes, I don't know what, go what happens when you go in. Delivery! Oh! Control panel? Is this some kind of... again because that thing is just gonna ah that's gonna take 120 seconds i think it's lower like this it won't go down because it's already down oh it needs to it's go up panel. oh my god why less than two minutes <gasps> hurry are you serious that took 60 seconds understood Oh. oh my god! Wait, but that must be the last step. Has to be. We can reach out from the checkpoint. Okay. Wait, this is really hard. Oh, we did it! See you later, sucker. <laughs> my god, he's so intent on killing her. Oh! <gasps> Jump in the water. Oh! Why couldn't we have done that from the start? <laughs> Why couldn't we have done that from the start, guys? Somebody explain this. How, how could we not have done this it from the very I beginning? Was saved. Barely. What? That shadow... must be... What, it made it too easy? I know, but that's how easy they made it look like. <laughs> uh, all these, like, weird zones. I got an achievement. I'm proud. Uh, we were so close, though. All we needed was to go and enter that door. And then raise it up. I have no idea. Day 3 Sunday. Kills I.
Iris was in the Somnium earlier. Yes, we saw. An unidentified figure tried to stab Iris to death. And Date and Iba... Hmm. Mm. Who is that figure? Probably so himself. True, he could imagine himself in his Somnium that way. Mr. Date's mm. ego algorithm processed the figure into that particular image. What are you know. people talking about? If you're quite done here, hurry up and release me. He looks too... <laughs> He looks kind of old, though. <laughs> Did he really have that fast of a speed <laughs> for running that? <laughs> Why did you call Shoko? Come to think of it, I still haven't heard your explanation for this. Like, you see, can you imagine him running in that ago, outfit? Two days ago, you called Shoko Nadami just after 9 p.m. Why? That is a private matter that I will not discuss with you. Hmm... What's your alibi? What were you doing at 5 p.m. two days ago? Reading a book at home. You can ask my housekeeper or my bodyguards. They will confirm that for you. <laughs> Maybe he... That does match what the bodyguard said earlier. Maybe he had someone else like do it for him. Man. They're not above telling a lie to protect their boss. About Iris. I've been telling you I don't know anything. That's impossible. I saw Iris in your dream. You have to have some memory of her. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. You killed Iris, didn't you? I didn't. Are you planning on acting dumb all night? How did you know Iris was stabbed? I heard it. What? On my way to this place, I heard that woman over there talking. Mm -hmm. Something about a girl who got stabbed in the back. Are you talking about me? Yes, you. <gasps> I... don't remember exactly what I said. It's possible that I mentioned a body with stab wounds to the back. What? Boss. It is impossible to determine now. Uh... The girl may not have seen Iris's body. Bruh. No, he still must have. He was in the warehouse. But does that mean we can conclude for certain that he saw the corpse? He looks tired. The medicine hasn't fully worn off yet. It makes him a bit dazed. The color is drained from his face. So, uh... I'm gonna observe everything real quick. Hi, Pewter. How sinking work? Oh, how does it During work? During a sink, the sinker's consciousness, or ego, is brought into the subject's somnium. They enter the subconscious mind. Or, more accurately, sink into it. At this time, the sinker's memories are left in their original body. Picture an egg. <gasps> the ego is the egg yolk that goes into the subject's brain. Uh -huh. The sinker's memories are the whites which remain in the shell. Oh. The sinker, or rather the sinker as their pure ego, mm -hmm. experiences mm -hmm. the subject's somnium. Mm -hmm. But to be precise, it is not only ego. Mm -hmm. When synced, a modicum of memory data does get sent into the subject's brain. Mm -hmm. Imagine separating an egg yolk from its whites. No matter mm -hmm. how you try, some of the egg whites will always stick to the yolk. I see. This is just like that. I fully understand now with the concept of egg. Thank you. Now I understand it all better. What is the ego algorithm you mentioned? <laughs> Imagine the human brain as being made up of two elements. Memory and algorithmic structure. The former is preferable because the latter can be problematic. It can output things based on the inputs it is given. To make this easier to understand, compare this to a computer. Memory is like your data stored on a hard disk. Mm -hmm. The algorithm is the program. This program controls everything, from higher cognitive functions to mm -hmm. primitive instinct. This program is what creates the phenomenon of consciousness. Mm-hmm. Wow. I understood all of that. 
In short, it is your ego algorithm. What you call your mind. Mm -hmm. Recognition, cognition, <laughs> consciousness. <laughs> uh huh. All of these processes are <laughs> incomprehensible without the ego algorithm. However, the Wadjet system is revolutionizing the way we this think about consciousness. guy is nursing the hell out the right Wadjet now. The Wadjet system controls my core programming. I Using see. Wadjet, we could map the neural circuitry of the human brain. Mm -hmm. And we discovered a specific circuit that is key to the mm -hmm. phenomenon of consciousness. Yeah. However, we human beings are still unable to fully grasp it. Mm -hmm. It's far too complicated. I agree. It but is too complicated. But even if we don't understand it, we can still use it. I you don't suppose? have to understand electromagnetism to use a microwave You're oven. right, you're so right. The Wadjet system is how we are able to extract the sinker's consciousness. That is what makes sinking possible. Ah. Uh... <laughs> About the mysterious figure. The subject of the sink remembers certain persons like my or brain objects is about that to explode. <laughs> but they might not have a clear form. Our dreams are sometimes fake or unclear, after all. Pewter, can you explain this themselves? all in the form of a BL for me, please? I told you earlier that me, the sinker experiences the dream from the perspective of an observer. That is why the person creating the dream can appear within it. But perhaps they do not have an objective view of themselves. Like a mirror or picture. Perhaps he's never watched himself on television. Rare for a politician. Would be weird. Unheard of. He lacks that objective picture of himself. He remains stoic and unattached despite God. his position of power. I find that quite powerful. To I, be able to I put hate your ego how and see yourself there's as a God bunch of contradictions which makes it many even harder to, share. to decipher them. You know? Like he's basically saying that. There's a lot of, like, contradictions to be able to figure out if he's truly the killer or not. Because we don't know... We don't really know if, like, how everything works, works with how he sees things and whatever. That's basically, like, kind of what he's trying to say. And so we don't know for sure, 100%, if, if, if he's really the guy. I'm pretty sure he's definitely involved, but I feel like this guy's not capable of killing. <laughs> He might have had someone else do the dirty work for him, but I don't see this guy killing her and running in those shoes after her and, you know... And he's kind of old, so... I mean, not judging by age or anything, but... I don't know if this guy has the the stamina to keep chasing after this young girl... ...for a really long time through the warehouses, but... Who knows? Who knows, right? <laughs> He may not have a rational, objective assessment of himself. I still think he could have sent someone else. So, even if this figure is ambiguous... It could be so. Also, Indeed. Iris is a runner. Or, like, really fast? I think she's supposed to be athletic or really fast. I think it said in her journal that she was, like, a fast runner. So, this guy definitely caught up with her. What would I give to be trapped in there with a day, God. I say that for a lot of mine, too. What would I do to be trapped in a locker with Tartaglia? <laughs> or Scaramouche? Uh... Okay. Let me check to make sure everything else is good. I opened a binder. It's a map of Shinjuku. Uh... I wanna beat so over the head with that thing. Oh my god. I see. Apparently, you need your dosage increased. <laughs> dosage? Dosage? What's she drugging me for? What is she putting me? Uh... Okay, boss. Um... Can we get an arrest warrant for cell? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know that what we find in Somnium can't be submitted as evidence in court. Oh. Besides, we don't even know for sure if that figure was so. You said it was. I said that it's probably him. Why is the boss acting so uh, sus? Excuse me. 
I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. About the Somnium earlier. I saw it on the monitor. Mm -hmm. Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Of course, since you and Iba are one in the same, it's like you saved her, Date. But that was just a dream. It's not real. Saving her insomnium won't save her now. I'm sorry. Mm, I don't know. I still think that this is... I still believe that Iba... Or sorry, Dante, not Iba. The investigation team I think calling. that Iris is still... Like, this is Date there's from Abyss. like a different Iris or there's something hey, weird about her. Sure, what is it? You said you found a body at Okiura Fisher's <gasps> cold storage warehouse. It's gone? The one at Ariake? Warehouse district? Yes, that's right. Huh. Okay. Why? What happened? It's uh, not here. What's Bruh. not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. I told you you shouldn't have left the body. Cold storage warehouse. <sighs> what do you mean there's no body? I told you guys I'm very sus about yeah, we looked Iris. Everywhere, but nothing. Date, I am not doubting you. However, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I saw it. I know I saw it. I saw Iris's body with my own right eye. Hmm. Then perhaps someone moved the body. Between the time we left and CSI arrived. They always take forever. <laughs> no. There's another possibility. <gasps> there is? What? Wait. What? Oh, he just left us on a cliffhanger. I thought that was a flashback. <laughs> Saga Residence, Sunday, 11.58 p.m. <gasps> no way. I knew it! I told you! Date? Iris. W what are you doing? Barging in without ringing the doorbell? I told you guys! Oh, you see, Mizuki ended up staying at my There's place. There's like two of her or something. Um, something wrong? The world... changed. What? I'm telling you guys, there's like two of her or she's pretending or something. I don't know. I feel like she knows something about this. She's involved in this as well. Like, very involved. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. She wasn't killed. True, but that was only a dream. Mm, I don't know. Maybe the dream changed reality. Impossible. No. I don't how else think would you so. explain it? Iris came back to life. No, I don't think so. I feel like maybe. Oh, oh my God. Hold on. What if the real. Okay, hear me out, guys. I'm. <laughs> I am cooking right now. What if the Iris we saw in the dream is the real Iris and she actually died? By frozen and being stabbed in the back, and the iris we're talking to in real life is a fake iris. I think that's how it is. I don't know, but that sounds like that would be the right thing. That's my prediction for now. Boss's desk. Uh, let me. I'm, uh. Under no circumstances are you allowed to look under this rug. Why? You understand. What have you got under there? <laughs> what? Okay. I'm gonna look around for some dialogue stuff again, so sorry. I'm gonna be thorough again. 
Um, Merry Christmas. It's November. <laughs> Early Merry Christmas then. <laughs> I do that too. When it's someone's birthday next month, I'd just say happy early birthday. Consider it a good luck charm. So you don't drown when you sink. Ah, you're so funny. <laughs> I sleep with a different one every night. They're so fluffy. Oh, body A body pillow. pillow. <laughs> yeah. She has four body Did pillows. Did you ever used to play with these rulers like a gun when you were in elementary school? I don't know. Nope. I don't have any memories from back then, remember? Oh, yeah. He doesn't, so he wouldn't know. Uh... Grandpa. Answer me, Grandpa. I'm really worried about her mental health right now. <laughs> it's so funny, she's still talking to it. Why does everything in this room keep changing? It is kind so of scary. So the darts me. board has all these holes, and the tip of the dart goes in, right? It's kind of sexual, don't you think? I do not understand. What is sexual about it? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. You know, the kanji for chair comes out to strange mushroom. Makes me think of a man's strange mushroom. If you know what I mean. What is... Seriously, is that the only thing you can think about right now? Date, shut up. You can't even speak for yourself. Literally, just... <laughs> don't even. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh. <sighs> that song used to be copyrighted, you know? But now it's public domain and I can sing it to my heart's content. You're right, you're don't right. You love it? You're so right. I say it every time on my stream. <laughs> Happy birthday. Where should I put old Jack here? You. I thought his name was Bill. Oh, yeah. Isn't it Bill? What happened to that? Coffee. There's something about a man who likes his coffee black. Black coffee puts hair on your chest. Really? And somewhere lower. Oh, I understand. You are referring to Date's leg hair. It is quite prominent. I think that wasn't what she was talking about, but okay. We'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I can't believe it's not a raccoon. What? It's not a raccoon? What? Then what is it? I still don't know what that is. I was too innocent. I've been wondering. <laughs> she is. Which she balls are bigger? So. Yours or this soccer ball? The soccer ball, obviously. <laughs> Maybe. Mine's bigger. It's a me Mario! If only money rained down from the sky. <laughs> it's Mario. <sighs> if only I could control you with a remote. Make you do this, make you do that. Okay. She really wants in our pants. Uh, let's see. They're filled with whips. The hell? Uh. Okay. I thought I told you to stop with the wolf whistles. <laughs> and I told you not to flatter yourself. Every time, every time the AC, we always get that dialogue. Hey, Date, who's cuter? The Matroshka or Iba? The first one. <gasps> I will carve out your insides and turn you into a Matroshka. Yeah, you deserve that one. Uh, alrighty, I think that's all I got from this side. Can't forget the broom because I always miss it. Um. Oh, uh, oh my god, I can't believe I have to keep looking like this every single time. <laughs> Skis! We should go skiing. Hmm? That was out of nowhere. Is that a no? Of course it is. We're in the middle of an investigation. What? You don't want to go night skiing on my bunny hills? 
Bunny will Hill? Not allow such scandalous behavior. Oh my god. I was just kidding. What are you, jealous? What does that mean, Bunny Hills? What? I don't know where she was going with that. I don't understand anything. Her butt? Wait, why? What does the bunny represent? Or her booba? Wait. But why? What if... What? Badankas? But why Bunny Hill? Where, what part of a bunny are they talking about? I thought it, it was like... Oh, bun! Buns! <laughs> I get it now. Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. <laughs> oh, bakery. Mizuki Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. There are three possibilities. One, Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the murder. Two, Renju was threatened or blackmailed into luring Mizuki to the scene. Three, the culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. In any case, the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. Renju, where did you go? Hmm. Okay. Um. Where is Renju? You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? It is possible she may have something for you by now. I asked Moma for information too. But I had to promise him a meeting with Iris. Moma can wait for now. We can talk to Iris's mom as well. She was Renju's classmate, right? Iba told me about her. Hmm. About Okiura Fishery. I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. The same Okiuras we know. Renju's father created the company. Oh. Another connection to Renju. Interesting. No, actually. What? Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. What? The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Oh. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given oh. to other persons. But it can't be a coincidence. True. It certainly is suspicious. And it is still suspicious. Regardless if he doesn't manage it or not, it's still like a... Like an escape area or whatever. Whatever you call it. I would suggest searching the warehouse again. You may be able to discover why Iris was resurrected. Maybe. I still don't think she was resurrected, though. It is absurd. Maybe there's Not clues possible. that were left behind as to why she Dreams disappeared, though. Dreams are elements of the imagination. An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the real world. That is preposterous. Consider it. If you were to find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? If you were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? But at the warehouse, I... You must have been hallucinating. Hmm. Within Mizuki's Somnium, you saw Iris's frozen corpse. It is affecting your mental state. Every time I look at this Iris, Last I keep thinking she so looks like by it that you me from <laughs> Dead or Alive. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um Where's Iris now? Her cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. Oh, we gotta go back there. How about so? Congressman Sajima is suspicious in more ways than one. Exhibit A. Three days ago, so called Shoko Nadami's phone. We still don't know exactly why. He only told us it was meant to be private. Mm -hmm. Exhibit B. So Sajima was at Okura Fishery Warehouse last night. But he didn't inform us of this. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. Unless he has a twin brother. Exhibit C. <laughs> so was an Iris's Somnium. Dreams are constructed from memories. 
Yet the good congressman denies he ever knew Iris. Hmm. Where is Sol now? Is this super chat real or dream? It's real! <laughs> I you. sent him home yesterday. You released him? What was I supposed to do? We can't hold him without solid proof. What we saw with Iris hasn't happened yet. In any case, we have to speak with him again. Can't give up the twin theory? I can't because literally re recent like... <laughs> recent Demon Slayer episode, it literally came up. Not really spoilers, no context, but like that <laughs> is like my point of why I can never let go of that possibility. About prophetic dreams. Stranger things have been known to happen. Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki Somnium. It must have been a prophecy. Boss. There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science. Boss's knack for change is one of her good qualities. Not having beliefs is what she believes in. That's how she established herself as a major player in the police department. Because she believed what she wanted to. Mm. A dream-changing reality. Date and Iba saved Iris Insomnium. And that changed the history of the real world? Hmm... I don't know. Well, I guess it's not impossible. That isn't what you said yesterday. That was then, this is now. A woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know? <laughs> no, it doesn't. A little bit, yeah. Anyway, I believe in Date. <laughs> I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. Hmm... Summary. There are four people I should talk to. So Sejima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. And I need to check the warehouse one more time. We have many avenues of Dang. investigation. Let's get moving. That's a lot of places to go to. Oh boy. Sejima residence, I guess. It's gonna be a bit. And we gotta look at everything again. We gotta look at all the buildings, objects again, so including Sejima the car. Is a person of interest in this case. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. I checked the call logs of So's phones. Mm -hmm. Congressman Sejima has one phone under his name, and a burner phone rented under a fake name. Did you find anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. Really? But I do have something. I looked into So's secretary's phone. One call in particular stood out to me. Huh? Mm -hmm. It was one week ago. From Fuchu Prison. <gasps> the caller identified themselves as inmate number 89. Uh, number I knew 89. it. Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. Mm hmm. I know who killed Shogun Adami. Interesting. When you crash, the first thing you hit is the dash. Interesting. Wow. Nice rhyme. <laughs> the dashboard always has something to rhyme with. Uh... Glove box. This box is where you keep your doves. It's not a dove box. <laughs> Could be. Uh, okay. I think that's all I have in the car. So now let's talk. What's he... Who is 89? From what I can determine, he is an assassin. He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. Wow. His code name is Falco. Falco? Falco. Punch! Correct. <laughs> That is all I can think of. Uh... What's he in jail for? Murder. He is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. 
He was imprisoned six years ago. <laughs> six years ago? Uh... What is his name? Unknown. You don't know? He is not registered in any databases. He could be a foreigner or recent immigrant, but it would be impossible to determine from where. However, I did mm. not detect any accent in his speech. I believe we can conclude that he grew up in Japan. Hmm. What's the relationship between Saw 89? Unknown. You would have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. Number 89 said he knew who killed Shogo. He did. But that may be a lie. Could be. Does he have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? Unknown. In all honesty, I have no idea. Hmm. Summary. Number 89. Should we visit Fuchu Prison? No. We don't have time. Call up boss. Tell her to request that number 89 be brought to Abyss. Roger. All right. We're gonna see if we can get any info on that guy. 89. I'm still trying to figure it out too. Like, how's this all connected? And why are they involved? Blah, blah, blah. Like... <laughs> ah! I'm so nervous. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting I have to click. I heard there was no body found at the cold storage warehouse. He's feeding Isn't Kappa. Your investigation over? Kappa! Where are you? I have a look. A merman. Merman? So is a wealthy politician. <laughs> it is no surprise to me that he has a merman. <laughs> Wait, a merman? <laughs> Actually, there's a mermaid here. Oh, hey everybody. I'm a merman. I heard a strange voice just now. Could it be? Wait, that guy sounded familiar. What the hell? That guy sounded so familiar. I can't... Speaking of gardens, uh, what kind do you prefer? I can't put my finger around it. I like a well-manicured lawn. <laughs> but some bushes are. It does bad kinda either. sound like Sonic. <laughs> I mean, what? Uh Twee. Topiary. That's a big green mochi. Actually, now that I look closer, it's just a bush. A spherical bush. <laughs> a gr a big green mochi. Not a mochi. Mmm. You guys should try green mochi ice cream. It's really good. I haven't had any in such a long time. Mention. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, no. Okay, and now I got everything. Why were you at the warehouse? I told you, I will not answer that question. Why not? And why not? We didn't <laughs> find anything there. There's nothing to hide. Spoke the words straight out of my mouth. It appears that he will not respond. Why are people so stubborn? Why did you call Shoko? You are beginning to irritate me. What did and you want to talk to her You're irritating me too. What is the private matter you mentioned? What is your relationship with her? I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. <sighs> this bitch. About Iris. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know that girl. I've never seen her before. Date. I knew he was lying. This proves it. I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. Hmm. After all... Iris was not killed. Maybe he's got a secret with her he doesn't want us knowing. That's what I'm thinking. What are you hiding? Like, so? why is it so important? About 89. Number 89? Who is that? An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. He was an assassin. Odd, finding such a person in Japan. 
What about him? About a week ago, he called your secretary. I don't know anything about that. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. Hmm. If you need information, you can ask her. I can't help you. Okay. Haven't you people got enough? I'm very busy. Excuse me. Yeah, busy being involved oh, with a crime. I do have one more thing to tell you. To be honest, Kaname Date, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't ever want to see you. Again. You don't need so to I tell me that. that. You don't show your face here. You don't need anymore. to tell me that because I already know that. It's what's best for both of us. Understand? I'll show you what's best for you, man. <laughs> Take that. So walked away sternly. Who does this guy think he is? Date, your blood pressure is skyrocketing. <laughs> Any higher could kill you. <laughs> Relax, Date. <laughs> we still have much to do. I know, I know. Oh, okay, we can leave now. Marble! Let's go see Mama! Monday. Mama! You need more info on Ren? I'm yes. sorry to waste your time, but I don't have anything for you. Oh. I see. Well, now we gotta click on everything again. I'll hey, make Mama, it click. <laughs> what's with the pizza, fish, and chips? People used to call me that on the internet all the time. Guess it's stuck. What? Pizza, fish, and chips. Ah, I see. Piece of fucking shit. <laughs> simple Italian pizza with fish and french fries. Oh, I could really use some right now. Oh. I want some right You're now. You're so cold, Mama. Hey, I'm over here. <laughs> Get a Dante, please. Enough with the fridge jokes. Taxi drives her. What is this? It looks like a poster for something. Hmm. Okay. Um, sofa, table, stool, counter, uh, shelves, mm, TV. Care to watch some riveting videos with balls and holes? Sorry, I don't like golf. Oh. I thought that was going somewhere else. <laughs> Your hey, cat. Dante. You know what I say when I turn into a drunk devil? Dev Ale. Dev Ale! <laughs> but hey, that was supposed to be a joke for Mama, not you. Relax. Bonito Fish, again. How's it going? Well, I could use a little help down there, if you know what I mean. Oh. I do not know what she means. Perhaps you should take her up on her <laughs> offer. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Why not? I would. <laughs> Why are you always brushing that fish? I find it calming. Why is that? Don't ask me. I wish I was that fish. <laughs> Oh, Falco? You know him? I know him as a famous assassin in the underworld. Oh! Just rumors, though. Nothing specific. What kind of rumors? Mm, he's good. 100% success rate. No evidence. He was a world-class killer. Did you ever meet him? So he's nope. like John Wick level? I don't even know what he looks like. Any other info? I knew it. I know he's connected to the Kumakuras somehow. Them again. Mm. That's about it. Kumakuras. Well, Renju. 
You know about Renju and the Kumakura gang, right? Yeah, I know. I heard it from his own mouth right here. Do they have anything to do with the talent scandal at Lemnisgate? Maybe now they do, since Renju is the president of Lemnisgate. But even before that, Renju and the Kumakuras go way back. All the way back to high school. Mm. Hey, Dante. Have you ever seen a dead body? Ah, uh, I remember Renju saying that to me after he and I went through a bottle. You're a policeman. I don't know what department, but I assume you aren't handing out traffic tickets. <laughs> so, how about it? I don't know how I feel about this guy. I didn't answer. I turned the question around on him. What about you? Me? Well, yeah. Who? Who? Who's dead Not body? Not just one. Countless bodies. Uh... When I was in high school, I had a pretty crazy job. You know the Kumakura gang? <gasps> I was hooked up to one of their phone fraud scams. Uh-oh. I just had to go collect the money from drop points and give it to the Kumakuras. It was an easy job. Eventually, I became friends with the higher-ups. They started taking me with them on jobs. Hmm. What jobs? The target was always an elderly person from the country with no family. Elderly folk who owned a lot of land, you know? They live every day in loneliness and desperation. You just have to be nice to them. That's all it takes. You guys would get to know the old people and they would set up an adoption process. After that, you just have to get them really drunk, throw them in the tub full of hot water, and they pass. Just like that. Heart attack, brain hemorrhage, or they simply go to sleep and drown. Oh. The police almost never investigated. It always looked natural, like they died of old age. So the adopted gang members would inherit the land. Then we sell it and make massive profits. I watched a lot of people get killed like that. And I've seen journalists get killed for getting too close to the truth. Oh. So I... I... That's scary. Why am I telling you all this? Hmm... To be honest... Are you going to arrest me? I don't think he's bad. I think he just... Oh, sorry. I took a sip from my glass. I didn't say anything for a while. I think Renju probably isn't a bad guy. I think he just makes a lot of mistakes and it just makes him a bit of a complicated person. I don't think he's genuinely bad or has evil intent. He didn't do it yourself, He just doesn't... Right? He just gets himself into a lot of no, trouble. I was always which kind of makes him look like the bad guy, in a way. But still... Date, I... Tears fell to the counter, unending. He didn't say another word until the ice in the glass head melted to nothing. Hmm. Summarize. I don't have anything else for you. Sorry, I'm not much help. That's okay. No, don't worry about it. Can you come back again tonight? There's a regular here who is good friends with Ren. They should be here tonight. Oh. If you ask him, he might have some information for you. Oh. Yeah. Yes. I'll be waiting for you. I see. Uh, I guess we'll come back later. Let's go to Sagan Residence. I apologize for yesterday. Hello, Mother. I arrived uninvited. No, I'm grateful. Thanks to you, Mizuki has her voice back. No, I didn't do anything. Um, and the dogs are out? I see. Uh, how to handle a monster parent. Are you a monster? Feet. Sorry, one sec. I'm gonna click everything again. Cush 
kitchen. Ah, oh, I thought there was gonna be another kitchen joke. I've been wondering about that picture. Iris drew it when she was twelve. That's you on the left and Iris in the middle, correct? Yes. And who's on the right? The man I was dating at the time. <gasps> it was only for three months, but. Wait, that guy on the right looks like the vision I saw from the. The one where he killed her. Hmm. You can see the trees and sky outside. That guy could also be the guy who killed Iris. Or, I don't know. Or, I met him about six it's causing all of this. Have you been to the Ikume Shrine in the Minato district? I was praying there one day and I heard a voice. Well, more like a groan. Behind the shrine, I saw a man sitting on the ground. He was bleeding badly from his stomach. I took out my phone to call an ambulance, but he grabbed my wrist. <clears throat> and he held me and then kissed me. I was shocked, but when I stared into his eyes, then I heard footsteps and then a bunch of men yelling. Oh. They were looking for him. When the voices and footsteps faded, he let me go. Don't call an ambulance and don't call the cops. I knew he had to be a criminal, so I took him to an underground clinic I knew. Oh my god. You took him to a mob doctor? Oh my god. And his friend. I only met him once. That's very romantic. Sounds like a song that would be written about it. Britney Spears. Mama, I'm in love with a criminal. Is there another joke? Dante, a riddle. Oh, riddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A man-eating alligator lives in a river. There are no bridges or boats. How do you cross? Well, let's see. You jump across? Wrong. Mm -hmm. The solution is simple. You just swim across. <laughs> what about the man-eating alligator? He's at a convention out of town. What? He isn't in the river. Uh, How are you supposed to guess that? <laughs> what? I don't get it. I don't get anything that I was saying. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Standing lamp. Uh huh. Clock. Is he gonna sniff it again? No. Uh, okay. Everything's all cleared on this side. Now we just. Oh, hold on. Even though we had our first kiss seconds after meeting each other. It took a long time before I got to see him again. The first time we held hands was when we watched a horror movie together. The first time I took his arm was when we went to a haunted house in an amusement park. <laughs> but I wasn't the one who grabbed him. A zombie jumped out and scared us, and he clung onto my arm. <laughs> he had that cute side to him. And I was falling in love. Yeah. I know. That was me with Tartaglia. Except it was in a video game. Our second kiss was in the <laughs> car. It's cliche, I know. But Why is she telling me all her kiss stories? All the lights. We parked our car near a warehouse and kissed. I don't think we ever <gasps> said I love you, but we both knew. We were getting closer and closer. What? I introduced him to Iris about a month after I first met him. Iris never had a father figure in her life before. She warmed up to him immediately and treated him like a real dad. From then on, Aww. it was always the three of us together. We would go to the beach, to the river, the zoo, the amusement park. No. Going to barbecues with another person. Just small was a little Irish. For me and so Iris. cute. Everything felt so, so innocent. Fresh. Every day was so exciting. Aww. Oh, sorry. You asked about the picture. I did. I wanted to make Okonomiyaki one. <gasps> he was working with the hot oh, I want it was Okonomiyaki. Ridiculous. He was trying to flip one, and it flew up in the air and landed right Make it homemade. It's so good. I just saw the whole thing and laughed and laughed. I hadn't seen her laugh like that in a long time. I was having so much fun that I put an Okonomiyaki on their heads, too. Plop, plop. 
I ate <laughs> Benita flakes and mayo and sauce. At this point, there was no going back. Eggs flew, flour going everywhere. The room was not a pretty sight. After a battle, we laughed like crazy. We were rolling around on the floor. So Iris decided to draw it. It's nostalgic. Also, that's the whole... <laughs> So the pictures them covered in okonomiyaki, like the ingredients and stuff. That's so cute. Six years ago, in <gasps> November, a man with a gun broke into our house. Six years ago? Iris wasn't home at the time, but my boyfriend was. That's why the gunman came. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill him and he would never stop. <gasps> he pulled the trigger. I tried to protect him. The bullet hit me, but the police arrived. They were both arrested and incarcerated. Why was he after your boyfriend? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. Don't tell I me don't I details, was the one. But it was awful. No so way. He became a target for underworld criminals. I don't know exactly why, but I know that he betrayed them in some way. Interesting. That might have a connection to my past, but I don't know. She would have remembered me then, but I still don't know. Hmm. Let me keep asking about May the I picture. ask you something? Of course. I had heard that that incident was a random break-in gone wrong. Oh. Oh. That's not true. I lied about it at the time because of Mizuki. Oh. Mizuki is Iris's friend. If she found out, Iris would find out too. I didn't want Iris to know. Know what? That I was dating a criminal. He was her Aww. father figure. Iris looked up to him. Aww. If she found out about his past. Yeah, but I guess wouldn't she doesn't she deserve to know? Hmm. I I mean I totally get it. I totally understand, but the truth always comes out. I know it's kind of cheesy and cringe to say, but it's true. The truth always comes out. Uh, a plant. Okay. I think now we just gotta talk to her now. It's Monday. Isn't it a school day? <laughs> Today's a holiday. Oh. I suppose there's never a day off for a detective. Oh, you're right. But you aren't a detective, right? Technically, yes. But I still deal with crime. I see. Today is a holiday. What is it? You forgot too, didn't you? What is... What is the holiday? I put Iris through so much. I was 19 and single when she was born. People didn't take kindly to that. No. But Iris was such a fighter. She always protected me. No. I remember. One time at the nursery, some of the other mothers were talking about me. Wow. Iris ran up to them and said... Don't talk about my mommy. Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the mother, but it's Iris who's always protecting you me. You tell him. Yo, those moms wouldn't be talking if they were in her position. So sh they need to shut the fuck up. What about your parents? They died when I was 17. Oh. I was an orphan. And my relatives lived far away. They might have taken me in... But I was already in my second to last year of high school. At least she was. It wasn't a good idea for me to move that late. So I at least she wasn't young when it happened. Myself. And take care That's of Iris. That's sad though. Yes, all alone. But Renju would help sometimes. Hmm. Where's Renju? Did something happen to him? You asked me that yesterday. Uh, no point in hiding it. I told her about Renju's disappearance. Right from the hospital? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Hmm, about Iris. It was always just me and her. Vacations, barbecues, zoos, mm. amusement parks. Just me and her. Oh, that reminds me. When Iris was five, there was a children's theater show in Bloom Park. It was called Milky Moon. It was about girls as magical space rangers and such. She loved singing and dancing. Even as a kid, whenever she heard music, her body would start moving. It was a quirk of hers. And she did it at the show, too. Mm -hmm. Toward the end, when all the Milky Moon girls were dancing to the ending song, 
Iris climbed up onto the stage and danced with them. I tried to stop her, of course. I grabbed her arm and tried to get her to sit, but before I knew it, she was up there, dancing. And everyone was so excited. Even I was dancing by the end of it. Aww. When it was over, she had the biggest smile on her face. Mama, you're a good dancer. That's the kind of girl she was. That's so wholesome and cute. About Iris. Whenever she sees someone playing music on the street, she'll run up and join them right then and music there. Key bench music presses at the train more. station, <laughs> yeah. the crosswalk. She's even, strong. Even at convenience stores, when their little chime played, she would start dancing. It almost got her into trouble once. <laughs> she was on the jungle gym and a truck drove by. It was playing loud music out the windows. She climbed up to the top and started dancing. What? But she lost her balance and fell. Oh! She fractured her leg pretty badly. It was on a Sunday, and it was hard to find an open emergency care. I was carrying her on my back, running and running through town. I could still hear her crying. Will I still be able to dance, Mommy? Can I still dance? She cried and cried into my shoulder. It was the only time she ever cried so much. Uh, no, um, that's not true. There was one other time. Mm. Oh my god, that's so sad. Her voice breaking up. <laughs> what was the other time? Six years ago, <laughs> I was the victim of a shooting. You After think the surgery, I gone wrong? Iris came in running. Oh no! She was sobbing. <gasps> Mommy, don't die! Don't die! <laughs> Please don't die, Mommy! Don't die! <laughs> oh. I swore to myself then that I would protect her no matter what. Iris is everything to me. More important than my own life. No. Summarize. Date, we can't spend time reminiscing. <sighs> we have to get moving. Well, this could be important. Yeah, let's go. No! I guess we gotta go. Okay, we didn't even get to summarize. Let's go to Lem Lemniscate. Lemniscate. I will never be able to say it properly the first time. Lemniscate, Lemniscate, Lemniscate. Receptionist lady! I am so aggro right now! Oh no. Who says that? <laughs> Why are you angry? You backed out on your Shovel Forge promise. I didn't I'm make any so promises. so aggro right now. You promised me a date, I've never though. heard it being used like that, but I've, I've heard other people Two say, like, Oh, I've got family I aggro. You didn't even take me anywhere. Yeah, That's the only time I've ever heard minutes. it being we used like somewhere. that. Iturup, Kunashir, Shikotan, Habomai? What? Absolutely not. Then you should have come earlier. Well, uh... <laughs> Your measurements? Um, I'm 5'4. I mean, that is clearly not what you meant. <laughs> um, can I have your contact information? Um, why? Well, because it may lead to something in the future. <laughs> I don't know. Gotcha, you're on an investigation. <laughs> Just let me have this. I love her voice actor. It's so good. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Can I have your contact info? That's enough. I'll come right out of your eye socket if you don't stop. <laughs> Damn it. So can I? I'm serious. I know. I'm going to pop out. Okay, do it then. Pop out. <laughs> Acting like she's a baby. I have a flu out of my left eye and started dancing on the desk. The receptionist immediately fainted. 
I saw the whole thing and also fainted. And so, my story ended. The end. What? Wait. But I couldn't let that happen, so I decided not to ask her for her information. <laughs> oh my god, it just really tried to give me a game over screen almost. <laughs> Wait, now I'm scared. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I'm gonna save just in case. I'm making a new save data. Uh, that's scaring me now. What's your type? Well, I like guys that like New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. What? I cannot even picture that. That was oddly specific. Um, okay. I want to know where Renju is. I want to, too. We've been looking for him. We've been getting so many calls, it's hard to keep up with. She would make such a good voice actor in Barbie. Um, alright. I guess that's all we can do with her. Let him escape. Dante, look! What? It's a Terrabella Camelifolia. Look! What? Yay! Yay! Go, Terrafilla Camelifolia! <laughs> Iba gets awfully excited about insects. Oh, there's insects in this? Oh, thank god they didn't show it. Like it? It's called Fisherman Shagging a Common Dandy. Shagging what? What? A what now? What does I that mean? I didn't say so fat. Oh. <laughs> so fa. So fat. Uh... Okay. Special. How to make good soba. I'll bring that one home for later. Mm. Well, it's a high table. Date, I don't understand. You want me to say hi to this table? Shagging means say. It's not what I said. <gasps> oh, I didn't know that. I knew it had something to do with it, though. I had a hunch. It's Shinsen Chatran. Who's that? Who? Shinsen Chatran's video is playing. What? Who? Whose name is that? Um, have the day off? Off? Yeah, from school. Oh, yeah, it's a holiday. So I decided to come to Lemnus Gate. We're going to do a recording for his show soon. Where's Renju? What about him? I don't need to hide it. I told her about Renju's disappearance. A traffic accident? I'm worried. Any idea where he could have gone? I'm sorry, no. You sure about that? Uh, why was your phone off yesterday? I know you were mad about our date, but... Why was your phone off? I couldn't get a hold of you. Um... Uh... About the late night visitor... Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. Who was it? And you left the house as well. Where did you go? You really want to know? Yes. And you'd do anything for the answer? Yes. All right then, Shovel Forge. Oh no. no. Then go on a date with me. Again, no. But you owe me for yesterday. I told you I couldn't get a hold of you. Objection. Even if you did get a hold of me, you didn't want to see me anyway, right? <laughs> Until you fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. Oh. God, I'm so sorry, lady. <laughs> so sorry you have to witness this. So, uh, do you know So Sejima, the politician? I've seen him on TV. Ever met him? No. Not at all. No, not at all. Hmm. Sus. Saw your body. Iris. I promise you won't laugh, but I saw something at the cold storage warehouse last night. What? Your 
dead body. <laughs> you said don't I told laugh. you not to laugh. But come on, Date. I'm alive. I'm right here. Look, I can jump around. Woohoo! Stop, I'm serious. <laughs> In my dream, I saved you from being killed. And here oh, you are. Oh no, not. Which is why I was. Like that if he didn't mention dream, it would have been more weird. I'm sorry, there's no point in telling you all this. <laughs> no, I saw it's you fine. in my dream. Sorry I saved you. That does not I make the argument what stronger. Huh? I believe you, Date. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. Another bizarre explanation. <laughs> Parallel world. Actually, that could be a possibility, but I don't know. I like... I do like the concept of parallel worlds. So, what are we doing? What do you mean? For our date, of course. Uh... Ah, damn it. Fine. Fine. Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> oh, she Yay! gave me a clap! So you'll play Shovel Forge with me? I will not. So we'll go on a date then. <sighs> yes. Deal. Whatever gets and us the have info. To our agreement this time. Uh, it's not like I we're committing to it. a serious relationship or anything. Oh, it's but just we for can't fun. Right away. What? I have a recording coming up. I should be done by three, though. Tessa, we're starting soon. Got it. Boob. So, Date, meet me back here at three? If you ditch me, I will be beyond furious. Anyway, bye for now. Peace! Bye! Iris smiled and strolled over to the studio. There is no point remaining here. Let's get moving. Cold storage warehouse. We're probably gonna find something there. Something that they forgot to clean up or something. Ah. My tea is cold. <laughs> With Ayaba in my left eye socket, I walked into the cold storage warehouse. I could see my breath. I looked around, shivering. Nothing seemed changed from last night, though. We'll see about that! Wait a minute. Did the shelf move? There are numerous cardboard boxes on the shelves. There is nothing abnormal about them. But... I swear this whole thing just shifted to the right. Okay... Hi, I'm Jermaimon. Iba, the jokes. You've gotta stop. Sure, Jermaimon? What? <laughs> Do they mean Doraemon? A forklift. It doesn't seem like it's in use. It was likely just left here. Hmm. You first arrived here yesterday at 9 p.m. At that time, lying on this workbench was... Iris's dead body, covered with a white cloth. But the second time... The corpse was gone. It was 11.25 p.m. But the body could not have simply vanished. Crime scene investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. Hmm... When did they arrive? According to the report, 10.30 p.m. After we finished sinking with so. It took them an hour and a half to get here? Correct. Why did it take them so long? Unknown. The report does not specify. They always take too long. <laughs> perhaps a result of outside influence. Mm. Outside influence? Who? Cool. In any case, there is nothing of note about the bench. Examining it will not reveal any further information. Okay. A forklift. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Mm. The crane on the ceiling. Nothing has changed. Okay. A switchboard. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. 
Uh... Hmm. There are only a few items on the shelf. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. Mm-hmm. It's a wooden box. It's just a there box. There's nothing inside. <laughs> it's just a box. Nothing. Nothing. Wait, I didn't look but at this box. Nothing may, in fact, be something. What do you mean? I was just thinking out loud. Let's get going. Date, your temperature is dropping. Uh oh. At this rate, they might find your body in here. <laughs> you didn't have to say it like that. Wait. Let me make sure. Okay, we're good. What was the point? Alright. Go back to the headquarters. And return to Abbas HQ with Aiba. I needed to talk to the boss. As I entered the room, the boss smiled. Like she was waiting for me. I took care of what you asked for. Number 89? He's here. In the interrogation room. <gasps> I'm on it. He's here? You'll go without me this time. I have some errands to run. One of the higher-ups needs me. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Understood. She has somewhere to go, huh? What could it be? Who's calling you? <gasps> Is that the guy from my dream? Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Okay, that smile's a little creepy. Just a little. Let's get started. But he has the haircut that I like though. Um, let's look around. Mm hmm. Oh my god. That's creepy. Hold on. Mm, okay. I don't think there's much we can look around here for, so let's talk to you. What's your name? Number 89. Your real name. I don't know, I forgot. <sighs> Where are you from? Djibouti. Djibouti? A small republic of oh, roughly wow. 900,000. I don't take kindly to stupid That's lies. Really interesting. Um, why did you call Sosajima secure uh, secretary? Oh, you know about that. It's true. I, I called was really Sajima's shocked. Secretary. That was like really. I got him on the All line. The way I in told Africa? him something very important. You spoke with him directly? Yeah. What'd you tell him? I told him to call somebody. Somebody? I can't tell you anymore. <sighs> it's real, but he's trolling? Oh. I knew it was real. I just wasn't sure if he was really right about it or though. I couldn't tell if he was telling the truth. I don't know. It's not like I'm counting. About Shoko's murder. All right. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. <laughs> we haven't agreed on a deal. Okay. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Hmm. Yes, I promise. <laughs> You're lying. You don't want to release me. Well, That's fine. I was expecting this anyway. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. What do you mean? You really want to know? Uh-oh. Here's what I mean! <gasps> oh, shit. Pewter! <laughs> what kind of action is this? 
Pewter. You'll make a good hostage for me. No, don't take Pewter. Take me to the exit. He just wants to read Bill. He's innocent. <laughs> Leave him alone. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh darn! What? Are you kidding me? A criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from I Metro this, Police. I knew this was gonna happen. I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press sniffs this out. We need to get number 89 back before then. Wait! His VA is the voice of Albert Wesker? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ow. I want to go to Susukino. I see, I see. Wow. Spiking is an important part of volleyball. Hmm. I like the BTM. Spiking. Spike. Spike tune? <laughs> They're making a reference to the company. It's volleyball. Um. Sorry, I gotta go through everything in this room again now. Wait a minute. Did you let number 89 escape on purpose? Oh. So that you could catch the bigger fish? Ah. Yeah, boss. Exactly. Yeah. I was kidding. <laughs> totally did. It was all part of the plan. All part of Keikaku. Okay. Uh, oops, sorry. I really like chairs. They look delicious. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, what? If you had the power to stop time, what would you do? Do you even have to ask? Your heart rate is increasing rapidly. Oh. I see now. I, that was also what I was thinking of too. <laughs> I want to knock you over the head with that snowboard right about now. Then allow me to say this. I will slalom away from that attack. Slalom? Not funny. What is slalom? What the heck was he gonna do to me? Dave, look! A UFO? That's a symbol. <laughs> Not falling for it. I turned your stationary bike into a coffee grinder. You use the pedals to grind the beans. Why the hell did you do that? <laughs> That's not a bad idea, though. Hmm. Uh. They were kind and had a big smile. Such a shame. <laughs> uh, coat hanger. Posters. Uh, pendant. Reminds me of your ex, Dante. It shouldn't. <laughs> All right, I think I got. Everything in this. No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm not. I haven't done this side yet. Ah! There's so many things to click on. Date, pewter. Once we're done here, let's pop that bottle. Not a bad idea. But when the boss gets drunk, she has the tendency to crush balls. In that case, perhaps we should never solve this case. <laughs> or maybe we shouldn't. Oops. Oh no, not you too. So now you're ogling me too? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll stop. <laughs> I knew it. There's always an AC interaction. But no keyhole for it. Same as you, Date. What do you mean by that? No keyhole? He doesn't have a hole? Because no one can... Put their key into my heart? Is that what they're saying? I don't get it. No maidens? He just said you got no bitches. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I know that. I knew that from the beginning. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, I think I got everything. Every I didn't! <laughs> oh my god, you guys, there's so many things in this room! That's nostalgic. 
When I was a kid, I used to put a broom between my legs and pretend to be a witch. <laughs> me too. That was me when I watched Kiki's delivery service. I thought I could be a witch if I just put a broom between my legs. <laughs> Alright. Now we can talk. Where's 89? How would I know? After he got to the exit, he let me go. I didn't see where he went. I collapsed right there. Where's my gun? Number 89 still has it. But don't worry. I have a spare. I'll <gasps> give it to you later. Thank you. How did he get away? He punched out an officer and stole his clothes. He put on the uniform and brought me with him at gunpoint. Well, he had the gun in his pocket, uh, hiding it. No one on the floor even knew this was happening. He got on the elevator and made it to the ground floor. He even stole my security card. He Dang. said he'd kill me if I tried anything. I suppose the whole escape took him about uh, five minutes. He must have planned this. I had a You're feeling that he was going to escape. I'm coming down from being terrified for my life. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a fugue state right now. The way that he escaped was so awkward, though. He just, like... There was, like, no action music or anything. It was just complete silence, and he just punches me. And I just fall to the ground, and then he basically just leaves the room like that. Like, we didn't even put up a fight or anything. We just kind of took the hit, and then he just left just like that. Like, it was a piece of cake. I am so embarrassed. Uh, yeah, we should apologize because we didn't even put up a fight. Boss, it's my fault he got away. I'm sorry. Don't waste time apologizing. I know, Pewter did Don't nothing. He just him. put his hands up. I'm the one who has <laughs> I was to like, go really? on an apology tour now. What kind of action scene is this supposed to be? <sighs> really messed up this time. Summarize. Date, I know you are already aware of this, but there are security cameras all over this compound. I checked all of them. Number 89 fled in a car that was waiting for him. So he had an accomplice? Yes. Oh. Did you see who was driving? Let me guess. Is I it did. So, so Sojima? Who was it? You and I know him well. So Sojima! Ranju? Ranju! Oh shit! I told Boss and Pewter what Aiba revealed to me. Renju? Why? Wow. Fucking Renju. You Got piece it. of shit. Moma is calling. Uh oh. Moma. From the Kumakuras. Moma the goat. I'll connect him. Hey, Dante. I just got the word. Renju's been seen. What? <gasps> Where? Hey, don't forget our deal. <laughs> deal? Irish. Irish. You forgot already? <laughs> Irish. We're talking about Tessa. Oh, Tessa, sorry. Oh, right. I'll be waiting. You know what to do. What should we do? We have no choice. We have to take her. To MoMA? Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be weird as hell. She's going to be literally like Ota number two. Oh my gosh! Late, 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 late. You're late. I'm going home. Never! Have you forgotten <laughs> the vows you exchanged? Are you drunk? No, of course not. <laughs> You're drunk. <laughs> I kid, 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 kid. I'm kidding. I can't I tell. I can't believe I'm gonna shovel forge with you. I'm getting excited. Uh, we are not shovel forging. I was talking about the date, silly. Shovel forge and a date <laughs> are synonymous, apparently. <laughs> so where are we going? M Minecraft date? Where should I take her? No, receptionist lady. Where is she? The usual receptionist is not here. Dang it. She's. I guess maybe she's off the clock. 
I suppose. Oh, that's Quinten Rapcone. Oh, oh, I've heard of them. I'm not gonna even try. <laughs> you just pretended. Dante, look. It's oh no. Hooray! What kind of insects Go live in these pa plants? What? What kind of insects are living in these plants? I don't get it. How? Is she identifying Dante, these? I've been thinking. About what? I have my greeting ready. You were asking me to say hello to the table earlier? What? You have nothing to say. Oh my god. This guy. Special. Catch a skyfish. Next time these magazines get replaced, I'm taking that one. Skyfish? Like the flying ones? Uh... A slipper. Usually made of leather. That's a loafer. <laughs> loafer. Large window. Uh oh, hold on. Sofa. Uh okay. I think I got everything in this room. Yes. To a Yakuza office building. Um, to where the dragon is. A really nice place. To where the dragon is! To meet the dragon. The dragon? Like, that dragon? The ender dragon. Yeah. Or, um, yeah. Oh, I get it. Like a fantasy world with swords and magic. And you're gonna teleport me there. Woohoo! I'm getting fired up! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She didn't completely understand, but it's enough time to care. <laughs> oh my god. I took Iris to the Kumakuras. You're gonna meet the Shovel Forge Dragon. Oh boy. Ooh, look at the dragon! <laughs> so cool! <laughs> oh god! So this is a crime syndicate building, right? Yeah, Kumakura. <laughs> she figured this out. You were trying to make me believe this was some kind of fantasy world? <laughs> no. That's what you thought. <laughs> what? Date lied to me! Date, you bastard! <laughs> you made Tessa cry! Oh my god, no! M Mr. Save Not me! Not the white Throw knight! this man into Tokyo Bay! Got it. I'll have him sleeping with the fishes. No! This is an interesting turn of events. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. Wait, is he actually going to? Wait, please, spare my life. Mama, I held up my end of the deal. You sure did. You want to hear about Renju? Mr. Okira? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dessa, if you're tired, can sit on my desk. Okay, you weirdo. On your desk. <laughs> you weirdo. Ah. Okay, chillax, chillax. Um. <laughs> let me look around lanterns. again. Hey, Iris. What do you think of when you see two lanterns pushed together? I don't know. I mean, it kind of looks like something, right? What? Uh, not really. I don't no, know, really. actually. Get your two lanterns pushed together. And you put your face between them. I hate this. There's something that reminds you of? Lanterns. <laughs> what? You mean boobs? <laughs> damn it, Moma. <laughs> You're not supposed to say it. <laughs> God damn it, Moma. You literally said it straight up. <laughs> you mean boobs? <laughs> I mean, technically, the dragon's right there, so. Um. Okay, door desk. Locker. Chair. Partition. Hey Tessa, let's have a party. No, no thanks. Oh, okay, good. She said it. Um. Okay. Wait. Okay. 
I'm scanning everything. I'll make it quick, guys. What, what, uh, anything else here? Oh, Silva. How many cows did they kill for this? Oh my gosh! Uh, it's a fake? <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Poor thing. Uh, what you did to that tiger is awful. Oh, that's fake. That's fake. <laughs> this guy's just gonna keep that's using luck. that as a excuse. UFO. That's an ashtray. Oh, yeah. Um... 23rd Hot Springs Sommelier Exam? Okay... Restaurants will take forever to fulfill your bottomless drinks orders. So order them all front. I see. Window. Locker. Mmm... Shelves. Okay. We got everything, so let's talk to Iris. Introduce Mama. Actually, let's sincerely apologize first. <laughs> Sorry for bringing you here. I it's okay. You don't have to be scared, Tessa. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. That doesn't make it any better. <laughs> the old boss was really violent. He would take a cheeseburger with someone's leg if they looked at him funny. <laughs> but after I took over, we went crystal clean. Crystal. It's like saying, no, we're, we're not we'll serial drugs. killers. We'll deal with we're that robbers. Stuff. <laughs> we had to restructure the whole operation. Cut a lot of people off. Cut? Their throats. The no! Not like that! <laughs> Introduce. Oh, yeah. I haven't introduced this old man yet. I'm 24. Really? Mama is lying. He is at least 40. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, he did not seem like Sorry he was for 24. My name is Moma Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising agency. You run the Kumakura gang, right? You're like a mob boss. How did you know that? <laughs> is he stupid? <laughs> uh, and I guess introduce again. Moma may not look it, but he's a huge Aset fan. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm a huge. You fan. are. Shut up. Gambling. Bet, debt, Aset. <laughs> Worries. <laughs> uh, forget, fret, Aset. <laughs> now, what does she say? Aset, you bet. Aset, you oh, bet. My catchphrase. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> But sorry, Moma. I don't like gangsters. Dang! Ooh. Gas! Well, uh, I don't like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. <laughs> are you guys All like this nasty too? nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? <laughs> oh my god! Are you guys like this too? If I say I don't like something, you say the same thing too? You're like, no. I don't like pizza, uh, pineapple on pizza. Uh, gross. Gosh. And then you're secretly eating it behind the screen. <laughs> I bet that's what you're all doing right now. What happened to it's Mr. It's okay Opio? to lie to me. It's I okay. heard he escaped the hospital. Or it's okay so to I. speak the but truth. I don't know it's anything okay. More Please tell me. Renji's escape from the hospital was strange. Three things stuck out to me. I laid out the facts. Mizuki was lured to the place where Shoko's body was found by a message sent from Renju's phone. I found Iris's body in Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Earlier today, Renju fled with a prisoner escaping a life sentence, an assassin named 89. Hmm. Hold up. What were you saying about Tessa's dead body? Oh, well... Date saw a parallel world with my dead body in it. A parallel she sounds so ha like happy about that. Oh <laughs> yeah, of course I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Parallel worlds and all that shit. Yeah. 
I don't understand. You don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Good, because I don't feel like explaining it. <laughs> but why would Mr. Okira do that? I don't know. He could be a hostage or an accomplice. Mm -hmm. Either way, I need to find him. I like how we kind of just forgot about Shoko. <laughs> we just now are investigating a, a thing more related to Iris's case than Shoko. Or, um, that's her name, right? Shoko? The mom? I forgot. Uh, that's an expensive looking ring. Why do you care? Can I have it? What? Can I have the ring? Why would I give it to you? Hey, can I have the ring? <gasps> Absolutely, of course you Bruh. can. Here, take it. Wait, 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 no. I I can't give you this. <sighs> you're so cheap. Ah! Come on, it's not like you're losing it. Dang. It's exactly like I'm losing it. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> you guys are a good team. <laughs> like siblings. Yeah, basically. Even though she's trying to ask me out on a date so much. Where are your goons? They're out. Looking for Renju. <gasps> Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. Like, like what? <laughs> like this? Like what? <laughs> About Renju's tip. You said on the phone <laughs> that you saw Renju. Yeah, I had all my people looking for him. So, tell me where he is. Mm, I could... Hey! I held up my end. I brought Iris like you asked. Dante, come here. Uh, why? Mama took me to the corner of the room. What's he gonna do? Dante, I don't quite know how to ask this, but... Can you ask Tessa if I can... shake her hand, please? <laughs> oh, that's it? Sure. <laughs> Mama and I broke our huddle. <laughs> Iris, could you do me a favor? God. A favor? <laughs> he, uh, he wants to see your boobs. What? What the fuck, dude? I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, sorry. What I meant was he wants to shake your hand. Bruh. Oh, a handshake. Sure. What a way to make things awkward. Boobs. I'm glad she said that. <laughs> I thought she would agree. She took, uh, Iris took Momo's hand gently and shook it. Dante, this is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> it feels good to be the boss. You know what? So how about it? All right, here it goes. I prefer Momo over Ota any day. First, Sunfish <laughs> Pocket, the maid cafe. Uh-huh. Second, Ikume Shrine. Mm-hmm. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. Got it. Thanks. No problem, bro. Really. <gasps> bro? He just called me... He just called us... Bro. Ah, Niki. <laughs> um, alright. Summarize. Anyway. Moma, take care of Iris for me. Oh. What? I'm just gonna leave what? her? Wait! You're leaving me here? You'll be safe with him. Uh... <laughs> Are you serious? Maybe Look um. Face. I'll take not it back, guys. Never mind. <laughs> what Maybe not. The highest bidder? I wouldn't give Tessa, her to, I would never to do neither. That. Neither of them. You, we're clean now. We all go home on time. We follow government regulations. See ya. Wait. What about Shovel Forge? He can I play told with you. you. I never promised to play with you. But you promised me a date. Uh, Dante, is this true? You son of a bitch. Uh oh. <laughs> ah! I'm gonna ignore that. He has a gun! Dante, you're gonna look for Mr. Okiura, right? Take me with you. If you do, I'll tell you about last night. <gasps> Wait, what? Her late night visitor. Now she's saying it. Fine. Hey! Dante, don't ignore me! <laughs> A clean gang? Uh. 
Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's just a toy. That's right. You sit oh, your just a toy. You sit your ass back down <laughs> on that chair. Learn your place. <laughs> Let's leave them alone for a while. <laughs> we have two places to check. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. I, I want to go to the warehouse too. Where you found my dead body. Is uh oh. Bothering you? No, I'm just curious. Oh, and one more thing. Can we eat somewhere? So, that sounds good. I haven't Sunfish eaten Maid Cafe, I guess, is where oh, we're gonna eat. My chest hurts. I'm getting hard to breathe. Wait. Are you just joking? Yeah, you're just joking. You good? Okay, you're good. <laughs> oh, Sunfish Pocket. Oh, I guess we're gonna go to Oda's Diner. Maybe we'll eat there. Thought we were gonna eat at the Maid Cafe, though. I wanna go to a Maid Cafe again. Omoraisu is the best. I saw a familiar face as I entered. It was Mizuki. Iris and I sat at Mizuki's table. Wow! Oh! This is surprising. What's going on here? Why are you two... together? <laughs> oh! Well, it's... Forget it. Thanks for letting me stay last night. Oh, no trouble at all. Anytime. You can even live with me if you want. Aww. <laughs> That's a great idea! The roommate I have right now really sucks. <laughs> uh, this girl. Definitely not talking about me, right? <gasps> Melon! Melon Soda! I told you guys, this is the best thing. Childish for ordering cream soda? I don't care what anybody calls me, I'm gonna order this no matter what. That thing is the best thing ever. I understand, man. I do. You're just waiting for the right time. <laughs> Nyotai Mori 780. Eating huh. sushi off a naked woman Wait. for 780 <gasps> yen? Let's go. We're going. I made up my mind and my heart. Oh, that sign is wrong. Someone added letters. Dang it! It's supposed to say Nitai Mori. Boiled newt. Oh, Nitai Mori. Boiled newt? Oh. <laughs> Boiled nude, 780 yen. Honestly, that's almost as intriguing as the body sushi. Dang. I wish I had that. Nudes aren't even fish. They're not. Because I know. <laughs> Doorway. Pictures of the mermaids. Why can't we look at them? I want to see them. Cash register. Chair. You act cool, but on the inside, what? Um. Those two shells on their chest are working hard too, in their own way. <laughs> what kind of thought is that? Keep at it, girls. <laughs> uh, box. Uh, kitchen window. You wanker! Do you not know how to prepare a monthly? <laughs> you wanker! <laughs> this is a real interesting place. I love Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> you can hear yelling from the kitchen. <laughs> you wanker! <laughs> I love that bit. I love the Gordon Ramsay bit every time. Um, uh, what a barrel. Fish pocket riddle time. Uh oh. There was a kid playing hide and seek who hid in a barrel, but he was found right away. What? Well, um, there was obviously a hole in the barrel. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I got it. Because there was a hole in the barrel. Correct! Wow. Wow, that was amazing! I cheated. Date, you're a genius! That was I, Well, but... I'm nothing special. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> and he takes the credit for it. That mother trucker. It looks like a lifesaver. 
<gasps> but it's actually a calamari ring covered in white chocolate. What? What the heck? Calamari ring? It could possibly be a calamari ring. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, trident. Also, why does... Why does Mizuki have one? What are you doing here? What are you gonna do? Scold me or something? Okay! Why do you care what I do? Okay! Why are you so angry? Relax! I'm not angry. In fact, I'm feeling good. <laughs> um, excuse me. Yeah? The mermaid took me to the corner of the store. Uh-oh. Mizuki was crying earlier. <gasps> crying? Why? Yes. We were trying to cheer her up. What happened to her mom was... Oh... And we thought she was having a hard time. She must have come here looking for company. Oh. That's probably why she stayed with Iris last night. She didn't want to be alone. No. Shoko's body is still under the jurisdiction of the police. There has not been a ceremony, nor has the body been cremated. No. The culprit has not been caught, and we cannot locate Renju. And on top of that, her roommate has abandoned her. Uh, I did not abandon her. You technically did. In any I, case, I've been there here. are many ways you could calm Mizuki down. Mizuki is just trying to act strong. We have not seen Mizuki for, since we Please, saw her in the apartment. Try to understand. Or... Technically, it was Iris's house, but it was for a brief moment. Hmm, about Ranju. The police asked me a bunch of questions. But I don't know where he is. I know you don't. How about the warehouse? Why are you asking me about that? Maybe... I was just curious. Maybe if you knew something, maybe. That company was made by my grandpa. But daddy has nothing to do with it. I don't know anything about the warehouse. Okay. Oh. I thought I told you this already. Don't ask me the same questions over and over. <laughs> I'm sorry! Look. <gasps> uh oh. <She's> lying? <gasps> Possibly. She may just be excited or upset. Could be, though. Could be upset. I think she could be upset, but I don't know. That would be weird, though. Do you know this mermaid? She's my friend from back when I worked here. We would hang out outside of work, too. We go to haunted places and UFO sightings and stuff. Blow those boys away! Blow those boys away! <laughs> yeah, blow those boys! Okay. Maybe not. Mizuki. Uh, uh, uh... You really shouldn't say that. <laughs> Mizuki, no! <laughs> oh, no! It got weird. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> uh, uh, Too Mr. helped me when I was just starting out. It's okay, as long as she doesn't know. You know how my mom is single? He really supported her. He I like how the other my two were when I like... A <laughs> I got hired by Lemniscape all because of him. Iris used to stream all her own content. Like singing and dancing and gaming and stuff. But before we knew it, she went viral. Right, I heard about that. That's how she started getting offers, right? But because Iris's mom knows Renju, she decided to go with Lemniske. But there's more to it than that. There are other reasons. Daddy was totally taken in by her talent. Her talent? Hmm. Dancing, really. Her dancing is what got her into Lemniske. He knew ever since she was young that she would be talented. He didn't want any other agencies to have her. Hmm. I didn't know that. Daddy's not the type to give compliments. Hmm. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. I, I didn't know he thought of me that way. Oh, That's kind of cute. Um, you like dancing, right? More than sleeping and eating! Well, maybe about the same as eating. I was about to anyway, say. Anyway, I 
I've always really? loved moving my body ever since I was You'd rather girl. dance than not eat? And you're fat, too. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of track meets. Were you always the anchor? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Hey, wanna hear something cool? Iris is the goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. She's the messenger of the gods. She's really fast. Rainbows being so fast to disappear was the source of the legend. Oh. You're as fast as your namesake, then. You wanna race? Uh. <laughs> sure. Let me get the chance. Oh. Okay, maybe that they could. Could you show me your dance? Right here? Oh, I want to see too. I feel like half the time me I feel too. like I'm playing a. I would also like. To <laughs> I feel see like that. I'm playing a dating visual novel. Mm, I, don't I don't know, know why, but I've been. Come on, there's so many times us. where it feels like there's so like, much side topic oh, conversation. Right. Oh, <laughs> I I feel like Wait. I'm having like a date with everybody. It's so weird. The mermaid didn't listen and hurried off. Jeez. Fine, if you insist. <gasps> Yay! Yay! We're ready. Oh my god. <gasps> All right, world, get ready. See my dance. <gasps> Invincible Rainbow Arrow. Hit it. Woo! Let's go! <gasps> Oh my god, this is so cute! That are flying on maps, Mr. Flying. You'll think that I'm flying. This old tale of mine. What? The whole song? Oh my gosh! A permanent fire, cold frost on the pyre. Fruit never expires. You've seen in your eyes. Woo! You've seen in your mind. While the old father has. Oh my god, the this is so adorable! like a Diamond City Lights song, though. <laughs> Doesn't it? The song sounds like a, like a Lazulite song. <laughs> From the lyrics and how, like the mood of it. It's so funny. Uh, that song. Mr. Okira wrote the music and I wrote the lyrics. Oh. So it holds a special place I didn't know he wrote music. That's right. I forgot he wrote music. Oh. Yeah, he's really talented. I look up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. That was adorable, guys. I'm glad. Uh, hold on. Before we proceed with the crime-related stuff, let's see. What do you like in men? <laughs> well... A triple board sea devil or an anacanthus verbatus. That's an awful. I I totally understood that. <laughs> I get you, I get you. From mermaid to mermaid, I understand. And that's between us. <laughs> uh about your relationship with Mizuki. Mizuki comes here a lot. She's really friendly with everyone. I can tell from the trident. I like it here. Everyone treats me next. Is it because you're the daughter of the owner? No, it's not like that. We're BFFs! She wields extraordinary power with that trident. The Okiura family is really something else. <laughs> okay. Um... Was Renju here? I've heard that Renju was sighted here. When do you mean? When? 
I got the info a few minutes ago, but I don't know when he was seen. Oh. Ringing any bells? Well, he hasn't come by today, but yesterday. Yesterday? But I was here yesterday. It was after that. Oh. After you and Ota left. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me sooner? You didn't ask. And I don't have any way to contact you. <laughs> True. <Damn it. laughs> we just missed it. Dang. X-ray. <laughs> Those are some nice hip bones. <laughs> So true, though. The more I look, the better it gets. The better it gets. <laughs> again, again. Wow, those are some gorgeous hips. <laughs> uh, my hips? Ah. Uh, Oops, I said that out loud. Oops. You are now officially a creep. <laughs> officially. Uh, get it, guys? Officially. <laughs> Has fantastic hips. I'm just saying, that's a really nice pelvis. <laughs> She's so cute, though. Is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. Alright. What was he doing here? He was looking for Iris. He was asking everyone where she was. Looking for me? Yeah. Did he give a reason? No, not in particular. Iris, can you think of why he would be looking for you? No, not at all. Mm. Azuki? I don't know either. Uh, anything else he can tell me about Renju? Anything else? Well, he did seem really sick. He was pale and sweating a lot. Must have been because of the accident. Perhaps. Could be. I don't know. Um, alright. So I think you're done. Let's talk to Iris about your visitor last night. Iris, I still need to know. What were you doing Sunday at 2am? You haven't fulfilled your promise. This is the date. I fulfilled my promise. I told you. No info until the date is complete. Don't you get it? This date isn't over yet. Bruh. Summarize. Unfortunately, we didn't find Renju here. There's a dead person and we have to... And this girl, us. all she cares about is a date. <laughs> We're in the middle of a crime. A serious crime. And these people are letting yeah, it off right. the hook like it's nothing. Alright. Ikume Shrine. What are we doing here, though? I forgot. Oh, we're still together. <gasps> you okay? <laughs> it's okay. I just, uh, missed a step there. Uh oh. Thank you for the shoe flash. Wouldn't you date Date too? I would. Ooh. Guardian dog. Arch. Chozuya. Wash your hands and face here. Oh. Wow, this is pretty. A little scary though, to be honest. It's very... It's very beautiful, but... Oh. It's too far to see. Too dark, too. Well, then get closer, then. Oh. Night vision. An iris. <gasps> More specifically, a winter iris. This is the same flower that was on display at Iris's house. Mm. 
interesting. Wait, there's something else, though. Uh... Is there not? Hold on. What? Oh. Not anymore. Okay. I think it just wanted me to read it again. Mm. This is beautiful, though. Like... It looks rather solemn. This is very, very calming and peaceful, but... It is a little creepy because it's like full of surrounded by... It's like surrounded by trees, like a forest, and then it's just like... Dark and creepy here, like Higurashi. This feels like a Higurashi like scene right here, actually, because technically it does take place in a place that has like a lot of these. The offering box. Um. Okay. Sacred straw rope. Okay. Bow. Hello, Iris. Um... Your thoughts? It's nostalgic. This place is a memorable one for me. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone. Someone? I used to call him uncle. He was a thoughtful, reliable man. I thought of him as a father. But one day, he just disappeared. She's talking about... Hitomi's lover. Oh! About this uncle. When you asked me why I became an idol, I wasn't being entirely truthful. I told you that it was because I wanted to become famous. But more specifically, it was for uncle. I've been looking for him for six years. But I didn't find him anywhere. I didn't know where else to look. So instead of me finding him, I thought that he could find me instead. You think if you became famous, he'd contact you? Yeah. So that is why she became an idol. Oh. I mean, it's also been my dream since I was little. That's a part of it, too. So why do you use the name Asa? Shouldn't you use your real name? Oh, no. I don't have to. He was the one who came up with the name Asa. Oh. He told me that if I ever became an idol, I should use that name. About this shrine. It's called Ikume Iribiko Isachi no Mikoto, or sometimes Ikume Tenno, or Ikume no Mikoto. There are legends about this place written in the old text. It's a shrine dedicated to the gods. The old legend goes like this. One day, Ikume Iribiko sent one of his followers, Taji Momori, on an urgent quest to find a mysterious magical fruit. Mm. A fruit called Tokijiku no Kaku. It's said that eating it will grant you immortality. After many hardships, Taji Momori was able to find the fruit. But by the time he got back, Ikume Iribiko had died. <gasps> Taji Momori mourned. Aww. He handed half of the fruit to the man's wife, and he left the other half on Ikume Iribiko's grave, then died on the spot. Oh. It is said that that fruit is still inside the shrine behind us. Really? The fruit of immortality. Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> immortality, huh? Not interested? No, not really. I'd rather have normality than immortality. Normality? Uh, you're you're looking at a one for Iris, aren't you? Yeah. How did you know? It's the same kind that's at my house. I told you about what it means, right? Good news and hope. Iris is also a part of the Eye. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. A messenger goddess. I told you at Sunfish Pocket, right? That's why the flower means good news and hope. Hmm. Thank you for the dono. About Renzu. Mr. Okura isn't here. I mean, of course he isn't. It's not like we came here right away. He's already taken off. Too bad. It looks like there are no further clues here. It appears we've wasted our time. Summarize. Date, we have no time to waste. 
We should get moving. Got it. Cold storage warehouse. <laughs> Oh boy. What are we gonna find this time? I saw it. I'm sure. Your corpse, Iris. Right here. But I'm here now. Maybe I'm a ghost. You don't look like a floating sheet. You have legs. <laughs> but maybe they're not legs. Maybe they're my boobs. <laughs> I try to picture Iris's breast swinging down there like that. And then I decided not to. Didn't you say that you saved me in your dream? What? What did you mean by that? I told you that I'm with an organization. I hate how like I had this, to know right? his imagination. Yeah, you told me two days ago. We find clues in the minds of suspects and witnesses. We enter what we call Somnium, a dream world projected by their subconscious. That's what the entire organization is about. How do you even do that? We have a machine that we call the Sync Machine. What is that? It's a sink machine. That's <laughs> not an explanation. <laughs> Tell me how it works. Well, um, I can explain, but it will require a bit of background to understand. Background? Ah. Uh, let me look around. Uh, oh. Well done. Hi, I'm Jemimon. God damn you it. Too. Not you too. Shelves with boxes. Oh wow. Switchboard. Hey, get out of my house! What the hell? Bruh. I'm a poltergeist inside the circuit board. What? <laughs> you said I was a ghost, right? Maybe I'm haunting the warehouse with spooky astral projections. What are you talking about, Iris? <laughs> Uh, forklift, ice cutting machine, shelves, box. Pew pew pew. What the hell? <laughs> the box made me think of like a giant robot. A what? You know from kaiju movies? Uh. Again, what? <laughs> She's so silly. There's a cardboard box on the floor. Over there looks so good. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But if I tried to eat it in one bite, I'd break my jaw. What are you talking about, Date? That's a cardboard box. It's you started <sighs> just a box. It's just a box, actually. Um. Okay, I think that was everything. So. Oh, just so kidding. So my corpse was on here? Yeah. Okay. Um... Do you know about the BBB? I've heard of it. The blood brain barrier, right? Inside the school, there's an army of little teeny tiny soldiers that surround the brain. They protect the brain from bad stuff in the blood, right? That's almost it, yeah. The blood brain barrier describes the architecture of the I thought she was just of the brain. speaking out of her ass. It is a kind of shield that protects She's the brain. pretty smart. To get I will brain, admit. An object must be no larger than 0.4 nanometers. Objects too large to slip through the barrier cannot physically access the brain. Um Do you know about te nanotechnology? <laughs> Nanotech? Yeah. Technology related to really small things, like really teeny tiny things. And when they make a machine, they're called nano machines. Nano machines. use them a lot son. for medical and tech fields. <laughs> Some of the cutting edge nano machines can even go inside your body. I knew and you guys illnesses. were waiting for that. They can even cure <laughs> cancer. And they go beep beep beep. That's what mom said. <laughs> well, I don't know if it was like beep beep or. Rrr, rrr. <laughs> but anyway, nanotechnology costs tons of money. Only a few people can even afford it. My college professor said only the richest of the rich have nanotechnology. But he's pretty liberal, so... Mm -hmm. Largely accurate. <laughs> Nano is a prefix meaning 10 to the negative ninth power. 
Oh. A nanometer is therefore 0.00000001 meters. The sink machine uses machines approximately 2.16 nanometers long. Viruses are on average 20 to 970 nanometers. So sink nanomachines are far smaller than that. Oh. This allows them to access neural circuitry. During a sink, mm -hmm. the nanomachines are used to write in the sinker's data. Mm-hmm. 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 Do you know about the wedge system? <laughs> I guess not. No, I know what it is. Oh? It's the core programming behind AI, right? What? That's right. How do you know so much? What's wrong? What? You're shivering. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh-oh. To borrow Pewter's explanation, with the advent of the Wadjet system, she's hiding the something. The human psyche. I told you guys she's this she is such is herself. The brain, which achieves the sink. Here's how sync works. Okay, you have the basics down. Let me explain how syncing works. Sinkers like me equip the sink gear and use it to access the subject's brain. Inside the helmet are nano cables. And on the tip of each of these cables is a special nano machine. But the machine can't reach the brain through blood alone. Do you know why? The BBB soldiers say go away and push them back? <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. Yeah! But for the sink to work, we that have to get I the understood. nano machines into the brain itself. <laughs> How do we do that? Drill a hole in the skull? No. No. In you Shovel Forge, die. you can use a pickaxe and. No, it has nothing to do with tools. <laughs> we don't have to open a hole. She literally has Skulls a bone brain right in. now. One of those holes is the optic canal, which is a nerve canal located behind the eyes. The nano cables of the sink gear go through your eyes, then go to the back of your eye socket, then through the optic canal to the sea. The sea? The sea of brain cells, anyway. Oh. That sounds kind of romantic. What? It's only a chunk of protein. A chunk of protein. <laughs> um, here's how it works, I guess. Once the nano cables arrive at their destination, they can begin the sync process. They slide into the brain like roots of a tree. And on the tip of each cable, the nano machine sends and receives data. This is controlled by the Wadjet system. And that's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. Exchange? Think of it this way. The human brain has a max capacity of one psyche, one consciousness. Multiple instances of consciousness inside one brain can cause a total collapse of higher brain functions. You know how a car only has one steering wheel? If there were two, there would be accidents all over the place. Well, don't some planes have two control sticks? <sighs> okay. Eh, maybe it wasn't the best <laughs> What I'm trying Got to say em. is that the human body can only hold one person. If you try to have two people inside one brain, it will break. I see. Um... Because of this, the sinker's data goes inside the subject's brain. Mm -hmm. And the only thing inside the subject's mind at the time of the sink are their memories. Mm -hmm. Like a house with no one inside. Mm -hmm. We sinkers break into the house, look for clues, and leave. Mm -hmm. All within six minutes. There's a time limit? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or else... The house will collapse on her head. Six minutes, huh? Six years ago, six minutes? Interessante. The sinker would be trapped inside the subject's house. There is something weird with the number six in this game. And I will get to the bottom of it. Thank you for it. explaining it. I don't completely understand how sync works, but still. Just don't tell anyone. This is extremely confidential. You're telling the person okay, who's the worst with confidential Dante, information. Tell me this. Hmm? Who did you sync with yesterday? Didn't I show you his picture? Congressman So Sejima. So that's why you know so much about him. But you've never met him, right? I haven't, I swear. Check her thermo. <laughs> Summary. Hey, Date. You saw my corpse here, right? Oh, well, she's shivering. I did. I'm sure of it. And in so strange, I mean, you she's barely any wearing any killed. pants. Yeah. And then somehow, I resurrected. Yeah. Hmm. Date, that means you're. Achoo! 
Date, is the cold too much for Iris? Yeah, I'm freezing too. Iris, let's get out of here for now. Roger that! Yeah, let's get out. You're probably freezing. Let's go get a hot meal. Oh boy. Why are you here? I told Date I was hungry, so. I've always wanted to eat. I'm here. going to know now. I'll Bless have my you. usual, Ota. Thank you. Yes, right away. Ota flew into the kitchen. Iris watched him go and took a seat. She sneezed. Watch out for genocide, Jill. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. I forgot that was her thing. Um... Date, you're drooling. Oh. oh. I'm just really hungry. Uh... Yeah, hungry for boobs. Date, I'm also really hungry, fight? though. Uh, Tessa... Not in the store, please. Uh, swinging door. Menus! Menu. Rhoda Kazuaki's grilled tongue with salt. Ooh. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spice. You guys ever have uh, tongue before? Mayumi's juice I like Korean with barbecue. Mold. It's actually not that bad. Mm, window. It just has a really weird texture. Eating tongue. Meow. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, you don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. <laughs> really? Meow. Meow? Guess I'll have good luck. Me too. It's November, but it says January. Oh. <laughs> it still says the wrong month. Um... Clock! Hey, what has two hands on its face? A mom playing peekaboo! Uh... Yeah, what? exactly! That just ruined the joke for me. <laughs> I didn't even know if that was even right. Counter. Photo. Stool. Menu. Uh, phone. Ring ring. Who's on the phone? Who cares? Damn. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> uh, autograph. Oh, that's Payashi Samba's Hayashi Vangole. What? Who? Who? Okay. Whatever she said, I guess. Okay. Hey, Tessa, could you kick that bucket there? Uh, sure. Like this? Yeah, but more. Why? Like this? <laughs> this is awesome. What? I did not realize there was someone more perverted than Dot. Oh. He is so weird. What the hell? Was he That's trying? Promotion. That's just a stool. Was he trying to pretend that he was the bucket? <laughs> I think he was trying to pretend or imagine that he was the bucket or something. Freaking weird, I guess. Uh, it's got stickers. TV. Hey, Date! I've got this video of girls in bikinis washing this armored car. Wanna watch? Absolutely not. He was trying to see up her skirt when she kicked? Oh. That also would make sense, too. I guess if it weren't uh, a weird kicking. Ki kicking? Ki kinking? Ki kicking. Kicking fetish. Uh. Kids see. Look, a chair for baby goats. Why baby would anyone goats? bring a goat to a restaurant? Why not? I would if I had a baby goat. You're good at cooking, huh? Yeah. My dad taught me when I was little. You're making me something too, right? Sure. My treat, Date. I did bring her here after all. Where's your mom? She's in the living room. 
I think she's watching TV. How about you? What are you doing here? I was just doing Wait. some meditation, lying on the ground. Maybe it's he better. <laughs> he, Date, maybe it's uh, better if the mom wasn't out Tessa? here, or else she'll call her a witch. <laughs> we are. Not Shovel Forge. On a date. Uh oh. Oh, a date. Huh. A date? <laughs> I'm on an investigation, and she wouldn't let me go. Date, I have some delicious fugu eggs. <laughs> I promise they're not poisoned. Would you like not some? Not fugu eggs. No, thanks. I'm fine. Don't trust it. You're still looking for him? Well, like I told you before, I don't know. I think you do. Uh, what's your usual? Omelet rice. Ooh, yeah. Oh, omelet rice is so good it gives me stomach cramps. <laughs> is that a compliment? <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Well, Ota appears to have taken it as a compliment. He'll take anything as a compliment. What do you guys think? When food makes you... When good food gives you stomach cramps, do you think that's a sign of... Like, is that a sign of it being really good? Or not? Because I get stomach cramps all the time from really good food. <laughs> no? You don't think so? But what if you really love, like, something, but it always gives you stomach cramps? Or you always just fucking explode in the bathroom all the time? I don't know. That's... That happens to me sometimes. <laughs> I mean, maybe... I don't know. It could be... It happens to me with Chipotle, but more so, like, if I put spicy stuff in it. <laughs> Usually. Yeah, I have. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah, but... I don't think she it likes me. It could be... A bad That's stomach tolerance. Mom is just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. Not very reassuring. <sighs> Whether out of jealousy or otherwise, she still doesn't like Iris. Yep. About Iris's resurrection. Iris, about your coming back to life. Hold it! What do you mean, coming back to life? Uh... What? I decided to tell Ulta about Iris's resurrection. Date jumped into a parallel world where I'm still alive! Tessa... died? Yep. I don't know what how he's interpreting that, but... <laughs> hey, can you tell me about this parallel world idea in more detail? Oh, sure. How should I explain this? Well... Um... Oh, I know. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. If we tie, nothing happens. We just shake hands. If I win, you have to give me something. What if I win? I'll do anything. A anything? Oh? Mm-hmm. Anything. <laughs> Dante, your heart rate is rapidly God damn increasing. it. Why exactly is that? All right, let's do this. <laughs> okay, let's go! One, two, three, shoot! Uh, what should I throw out? Rock. Shoot! Oh. A tie. We both did the rock! The boring result. Well, we agreed on the rules. Let's shake hands. <laughs> shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky. I shook hands with Iris. We just played rock, paper, scissors, right? We tied and shook hands. But in a different timeline, maybe I got a reward from you. <laughs> or maybe you could have seen me naked or something. What? Why did I choose rock? Dang it. What exactly were you going to make her do? So those timelines are what I'd call a parallel world. So you think I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive? That's what I think. Huh. Parallel world, huh? <laughs> can't believe it, but... Sure you can! Parallel worlds exist! I didn't save, unfortunately. Do you know about the Mandela effect? <laughs> or the Booba Kiki effect? Or the 100 million balls? If I explain that, would you believe me? 
What? Sounds really interesting, Tessa. I Shut know some up. urban legends you like don't that. Know. You don't even know. You don't even know what we're talking about. Man and the lost friend and the story of two sisters. I've heard people talking about it. <laughs> oh, to just stop. Yeah. Um, the booba kiki effect. Dante, look at this picture. Oh, I just pulled up a picture on her phone. There's a famous experiment regarding this picture. You show this image to people around the world and ask a question. Which one is booba and which one is kiki? Believe it or not, 98% of people asked have the same answer. The rounder one is booba and the jagged one is kiki. Isn't that weird? In other words, everyone thinks that booba is a certain way and kiki is the other. Booba. It applies universally across languages and cultures. It's like something ingrained inside all humans. It's because boobas are round. <laughs> uh, oh, there's more to it. Like worshipping the sun and the sea. Or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. It's what Jung called the collective unconscious. There exists a second psychic system of a collective, universal, and impersonal nature, which is identical in all individuals. That's what Jung said about it. Think of it like bamboo. Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated. But underground, they're all connected. I know Human this. Psyches might be because like of Shovel too, Forge. Connected at a subconscious level. That's... A parallel world? Yeah! You saved me in the dream, right? And dreams are all about our subconscious minds. So if you follow the roots... You get to another bamboo stalk. Wow. Yeah, something She's like so big brain. What the hell? How did she come up with this in her head? This world is full of really interesting stuff. This is like if Dopio you know was... interesting thing of was all? like... No, what? That humans exist at Theorizing all. something. The universe developed in a very particular way to get here. If things were even slightly different, well, the galaxies and solar system and all of that might not have existed at all. And that means humans would never be born. And even if everything happened exactly like that, the probability of human life developing is extremely low. And yet, here we are. This is so much for my brain, you guys. <laughs> Imagine a box full of ping pong balls. Labeled one to a hundred million. Would you be able to pick out the one? Not likely. Hmm. But what if there were 100 million of you? Well, then one of us would definitely pick up the one. Exactly! The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... Then it wouldn't be strange that at least one of them had humans in it. What? She is describing the anthropic principle. I may have underestimated her intelligence. Yeah! She's crazy! She knows so much! Do you know Nelson Mandela? Well, yeah! The former president of South Africa. He helped abolish apartheid. He died in 2013, but a strange thing happened. Oh? When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? That's the Mandela effect. Oh. It's when your memory and history have discrepancies. Oh my gosh, that's right. There are lots of examples. Like the name of this kid's book with the bears having different spellings. Or people remembering that Kennedy was assassinated in a four-seat car. But in our world, he was in a six-seat car. Huh. <laughs> I thought it was a four-seater too. Oh my or god. Or that from that video game. You probably remember the tip of its tail being black. It wasn't? Nope. It's all yellow. What? And the design didn't change. Oh. Lines from movies, company logos, <gasps> historical events, and little things. Oh my god. The Mandela effect is everywhere. Why do you think that is? What because the hell? Because those memories are from parallel worlds? That she was talking would about explain Pikachu? It, I guess. <laughs> Uh, wow, this is quite something. A lot for my brain to handle. The spatial temporal man? 
Yeah, it's sort of like a common experience. Oh my god, Akaza from Demon Slayer? Waking up in an uninhabited <laughs> world they've never seen before. And most of them describe seeing the same Basketball person. head. The spatial temporal man. It's Akaza. He's supposed to be an ordinary old man wearing work clothes. The spatial temporal man guides people back to the real world. He tells them, this world is not for you, or something. I'd like to meet him someday. <laughs> he really does look like Akaza. <laughs> uh, the two sisters? So, there's this girl. Let's call her B. She's practicing piano in her room. And her little sister is watching TV in the same room. B asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano playing, you know? So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. But her sister doesn't turn the volume down. She's not listening at all. So B turns around to scold her. She was really gonna let her sister have it. But she's gone. She's nowhere to be seen. She thinks, huh, I wonder where she went. But then B hears her sister at the door. I'm home. Ah. B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her parents standing there. So B asks, when did you go outside? But her mom says, what are you talking about? She went shopping with me. Oh. B is really confused by all of this, of course. She asks her little sister about it, and she learns that her favorite TV show was on. And before she went shopping with her mom, she was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay and watch it or not. So depending on her decision, a parallel world was made. Yeah. Oh. And what B saw might have been from the world where her sister stayed behind. This is some creepy pasta. <laughs> I had no idea. That that was really deep. Oh god. Um, the last friend? There's this kid, A. He's in elementary school. Well, A had this close friend named Suzuki. One day after school, they're walking home together. A turns around to tell Suzuki a joke, and Suzuki is laughing his butt off. And he's laughing and laughing, and he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. Literally? What? Well, they were hanging down out of his eye sockets. Ew. The nerves were still connected, but... Ew. Ah. A is, of course, in shock and doesn't know what to do. Suzuki just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his eye sockets Ew. and keeps walking like nothing happened. So... A asks him about it. Like, hey, are you okay? Your eyes fell out. A is really concerned for his friend, you know? But Suzuki just says, yeah, I'm fine. He doesn't say anything about it. And by now, A is really curious. But he's not getting any answers. So they just part ways and go home. The story only gets weirder from here. The next day, A goes to school, and Suzuki's not there. A is confused and asks his teacher about it. Hey, where's Suzuki today? And the teacher says, Suzuki? Who's that? There's no Suzuki in this class. Hey says, what are you talking about? And he goes and asks all of his classmates about Suzuki. They all say the same thing. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this class. Oh, so that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. What the heck? That's what I think. That would be so scary if I actually, like, experienced something like that. Like, thinking there was a person there the entire time, but they weren't. Couldn't Suzuki just be an imaginary friend or something? No. A was really serious about remembering Suzuki. It is weird. Are you sure they weren't no just, way like, hallucinating? Your eyeballs back in like that. Well, not necessarily. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. It actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. Ota is correct. Dislocated eyes are easy to replace in their sockets. Ew! As long as none of the nerves or blood vessels were damaged, there are usually no lasting negative effects either. Mm. But that doesn't prove this Suzuki exists. Well, I guess not, but... Ugh. Um, what about the others? So, this elementary <laughs> school kid... Let's call him... C. Okay. He goes to school and there's a bunch of things on the floor. Uh-huh. Postcards, towels, a coffee cup, 
rice bowls, a sink, lots of stuff. But C realized that those were all things from his own house. <gasps> How did they get to the classroom? No one knows. It's not like anyone did it on purpose or there was a thief or anything. Maybe something happened that made two parallel worlds fuse. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I see. Anything else? I know a ton of stories like this. Like being suddenly transported one year into the future. And there's a missing persons report out for you. Oh. You look down at your phone, but you realize that it's not yours. It's not the one you remember having. You look through the contacts, and it's filled with names you don't recognize. Oh my gosh. It sounds scary. It's like reincarnated. There's more, too. Like Our this town switch. where everyone is Japanese, but they're speaking a completely different language. And all the signs and magazines and stuff have different letters. And it's not like Korea or China. It's the Japan we know, but the language is different. What? That's a prime example of a parallel world. Oh my gosh. That's so deep. When did you two get so knowledgeable? Oh, I don't know. This is crazy is always to think about. about. These are really good movie ideas, That's too. That's why I decided to research it, too. That's how I learned all this stuff. Oh, hey. I know about conspiracies and secret societies, too. I find that stuff oh, fascinating. Boy. If you want, we could talk I about like those. I like watching documentaries Maybe of those type time. of things. Now, where's that omelet rice? Yeah, where's that omelet rice? Done! Soup? Draw a picture for me. Ulta brought the dish over. He laid out an omelette rice in front of me and Iris. Iris grabbed her spoon with a huge smile on her face. Bon appetit! She picked up a spoonful. No, actually, she tried to pick up a spoonful. <gasps> Iris? Tessa, are you okay? I'm fine. My hand slipped. Let's eat. Are you sure? I think you... you I think you just dropped that. Iris and I ate the omelet rice in near silence. There was no conversation. Just the sound of the spoon hitting the plate. The diner echoed with it. And before long... Ah! Thanks for the food! Iris was totally re-energized. Her face was back to her usual un... Uh, usual easy smile. That was good. Ota, your omelette rice is seriously the best. Yeah, it was actually really good. Aw, oh, thanks. I miss all my I rice, owe it to my dad. He taught me well. I want to go back to Japan. I want all my rice and melon soda together. I paid for the food and stood to go. Let's get going, Iris. Thanks again. Thank you. Come back soon! If you've never been to Japan, literally eat anything with eggs. The egg quality is so different there. It's insane. I've never it like it was like life changing to me. The eggs are the best in Japan. Scrambled or sunny side, they are the best. Mama! Hey, mama. It's me. Dante, honey, what's up? I'm heading over now. Glad to hear it. Maybe I'll close the place a little early for you. Sorry, but I'm with someone. With someone? A girl named Iris. What? Is she a virgin? <laughs> huh? I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> anyway, remember what we talked about? There's a regular here who was good friends with Ren. Oh. They should be here tonight. We're gonna meet them. I'm scared though. What if it's someone we know already? Oh, right. Are they coming tonight? Yes, I promise. All right. Be better. I'll see you there. Okay. I'll be here. How are you talking on your phone without earphones? I was too lazy to explain it properly. So I came up with the lie. I have an earpiece implanted in my ear. Wow, cool! Another call came in. I wish I could pick up phone calls like that, though. 
Not needing to hold a phone? I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, Dante, tell me the situation. Did you find number 89? If I did, I would have told you. Mm-hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Hmm. Oh, she pissed. What was that about? That was a cry from deep within my heart, Dante. <laughs> Do you realize how screwed I am? Uh-oh. Go find number 89. I'm the only I'm if I working find Renju, on it. I find number 89. I'm gathering information on Renju's whereabouts now. Where? I told her I was going to Marble with Iris. <laughs> and about who I was expecting to see there. Wait. Are you trying to get her drunk? No. She's not 21. And if she wasn't a minor? Hmm? Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure you have a good plan. Uh -huh. Find those two and arrest them. Got it? Yep, got it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Golden Yokocho, Monday, 10.07 p.m. So this is Golden Yokocho. First time here? Yeah. Marble is right over here. Date, on your six. Two suspicious individuals approaching. <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you for the super. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! God! Oh no! I'm getting kidnapped. Ooh, yeah. Dante! Run! Oh! <laughs> oh! Stay right there. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh my God! They got the whole army here. Is he even looking? Damn. Uh oh. The music is so good, Boy. though. We can find out later. We need a way out of this. What do we do? Yeah, but. If I grab Iris and try to run, we'll be sh we'll be shot full of holes. Thank you for the Aka Supas and the, the rainbow. Thank you. The alleys between the buildings are blocked off. We can't go that way. Which means. Shit. We gotta take care of them. Ah, oh, damn. I have reached the same conclusion. But I've only got a single revolver. Um, time to get creative, I guess. Ooh, what's happening? What did I just see? Date, I have a plan. I will give you instructions. Just move as I tell you. Okay. This better work. Not to worry. Thank you. My calculations you are so Thank you. Thank you again. What's the plan? Thank you. You see that hanger over there? Shoot the bottom of the hanger with a normal bullet. Why? A normal bullet? Don't ask questions, just do it. But how do I do it? <sighs> ah! Do I have to aim it? What am I doing? Control? Oh. What the? Really? Look at that. <laughs> like a gift from heaven. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I hate this. <laughs> Why are men nice always stupid. like this? <laughs> Just as I calculated. Why? What kind of calculations did you do? <laughs> Why are you focus. all like this? <laughs> now, the burst shot. 
Shoot the, the portal burst? Mac vending machine. Are you freaking kidding the me? Portal Mac? I said no pushing. <laughs> I Hurry. hate this. I hate this so Shoot the much. Vending machine with the burst. Why are they in a vending machine anyways? Children are around. I'm using a special bullet for this in particular. Oh my god. Is it the same button? I knew it. How's that guy still alive? Hey guys. Hey, this is Look at it. This is crazy. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. You guys probably have. What do you mean? Hey, wait, hold on. Those are actually really good. Hold on. Yeah, they must be stupid. <laughs> you are too. What? <laughs> the final step. But you don't have to do a thing. Why? What? what do I gotta do? <gasps> Hello? Mama? There's a group of naked buff guys dancing outside your bar. <gasps> There's... What? <laughs> don't use my voice without permission. <laughs> this is an emergency. I will slap Lots you Lots of naked buff men outside. Hold now, on, guys. I gotta go. I just need to use the fire extinguisher. <laughs> it's loaded with high pressure CO2. Now, I will leave your eye and throw the fire this extinguisher. This is the craziest into the air. and weirdest action scene I've ever seen. Top. Now let's go. This is so unrealistic. <laughs> ah! I thought his eyeball was gonna fall down like a golf ball. Or ping pong ball. How can you lift that? Ready? Here I go. Okay. Uh, ah! Ow! Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming. I'm aiming. Oh, this is easy. I thought it was gonna be harder. What is happening? How? How is this calculated? No! Are you serious? How is this all calculated? How was that all calculated? We could have got Mama killed. How? All according to my calculations. All according to Keikaku! <laughs> this was the most unrealistic fight scene I've ever seen in this game so far. What? Keikaku Dori. <laughs> that was the weirdest fight scene ever. Well, it wasn't really a fight scene. It was just weird action that was just more comical is... than serious. <laughs> <laughs> the building's got a security system. We'll be safe here. So Mizuki's not I home? did not imagine Doesn't this game like to be so comical. <laughs> Mizuki is currently at Sunfish Pocket. It's getting late, but Sunfish Pocket should be safe. I'm sure the mermaids are taking good care of her. If anything, she'd be in more danger with us. Iris, I need to talk to you about earlier. Have a seat wherever. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's look around first. This might be like my last segment though. Uh, I have to go to a meeting soon, so I'd probably have to wrap it up here. So, let me see if I can go through some of, st some of these stuff here. Uh... I'll do a rabbit. I gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. Bed. Cushion. Sofa. Bridge. Door. Condiments. Uh, pot. Uh, frying pan? Where did that come from? Where? How did I. Wait. Frying pan? Where's the frying pan? Hold on, it might be the other side. What? Why 
is it pitch black outside? Uh, oh, rack. Okay. I'm so confused. Iron chair. Uh, computer. Uh, low table. The, the fr frying pan! Oh, there it is! Right there! Okay, uh, hub and hood. Wow, there's like no new dialogue in this part. Interesting. Okay, I think I got everything. Iris. About the un unidentified attackers. Iris, those guys who tried to kidnap you. Do you have any idea who they were? Mm, after a long silence, Iris spoke. Uh oh. She hiding something. There's a reason I asked you to go on a date so many times. <gasps> I wanted you to protect me. Oh. I wanted a bodyguard. But I thought that if I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't tell you. But now, I'll come clean. My life is being threatened by a secret society. They're called the Nizet Laws. Now you're under telling the control us this? of the Wajet system. Their ultimate goal is to complete X00639. <gasps> I discovered what? them and what they were up to, and now... What? Wait! Is that the experiment? Dante, please help me! They're going to kill me! I told you guys! Wait! wait. I Slow was down. on to something! I think that's not the real Iris, or... Is the real one, or isn't... Or is not. I don't know, but that... Must have been like some sort of clone that they made of her or something. About the relation with the Wadjet system. Well, you know about the Wadjet system, right? It's the core of artificial intelligence. Do you know where it came from? It was developed by the American tech conglomerate Elgorg. But no specifics have been revealed. Basically. The Wadjet system artificial intelligence is from outer space. It was transmitted to Earth in binary as radio waves. They were caught by the space dev team at Elgorg. And when they decoded it, they found that it was a truly incredible source code. That's the code they used to create the Wadjet system. Is this true, Iva? What it is definitely ridiculous. I'm shocked. <laughs> This is a... This is kind of like whiplash information to me. Um, what is X00639? In geosynchronous orbit around the equator, longitude 100 degrees east, there's a satellite. What? It's about 150 feet long. Quite big for a satellite. True. Most satellites are between 5 and 10 feet long. The International Space Station is roughly 330 feet long, so this satellite she is describing is about half as big. What the fuck? It's always in the same place, and there's no doubt that it's man-made. But by who? And when it was launched, no one knows. Also true. The first to discover this satellite was a space advocacy group in Japan. It was on the news for a short while. No one could identify it precisely. Most people thought it was some secret U.S. military satellite and that was it. But that's not the truth. X00639 is a super-powered radio transmitter. Radio? Radio? Transmitter? But it's not complete. It's still being built. And that's what they're trying to do. That's what Wajet wants them to do. About... Ni... Ni... Nizet lots? Is that what it's she said? N-A-I-X-A-T-L-O-Z. Sometimes they just call themselves the Nize. Nize. They're deeply connected to the Wajet system. Their organization is everywhere. International politics, business leaders, all operating in secret. Oh, to summarize. So to summarize Iris' story... The Wadjet System AI was built by decoding radio waves sent from outer space. 
a secret society called Nizet's Lots or whatever, or Nice, knows the secret of the Wadget system and obeys its will. Their ultimate goal is to complete the radio transmitter satellite X00639. Why do the members follow Wadget? Nice and Wadget have a mutually beneficial relationship. Wadget can control stock prices. Nice benefits from that. In return, Nice helps Wadget's ultimate goal. That's why Nice is in militaries and corporations all over the world. To help build X00639. Why does Wadget want to keep Nice a secret? Let's say that one day Wadget shows up on your computer screen. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Want to help us out? Do you really think humans would help? Most people would probably think their PC has a virus or something. Or they'd panic and try to remove them. I don't know what would happen. I'm sure Wadget made their own predictions. And they thought it was best to control certain parts of humanity from behind the scenes. But they needed some kind of direct influence. They can't build a satellite by themselves, right? That's why they created Nizet Laws. Nizet Laws. Okay. Why is Wadget building X00639? Oh, sorry. Let's click. I managed to learn that too. They're building X00639 so they can transmit their own data to a planet far away. If they contact a sentient species, then the process will repeat itself again. That species will decode the signal, create an AI, then build a radio transmitter. Because they're an AI, they can create copies of themselves for transmission. Doing this over and over means that Wadjet will eventually spread across the universe. And after that? After that? Yeah. After they're spread all over space, what do they do next? I don't know. You don't know? Well, why do humans have children? It's the same thing. Wadjet is alive. They want to spread across the universe. That's their destiny. What the hell? All right, I get it. You so, do? AI takeover? Not really, but she doesn't need to know that. <sighs> but listening to your explanation, Nyes doesn't sound like a bad organization. No, that's not true. Think of how much money and resources are going to Nyes. Think of how many people are suffering in poverty. And yeah, all the like AI hive mind takeover, basically. And human trafficking and slavery? Nice has the power and resources to put an end to all of that. But they don't. They only care about themselves. She makes a good point. And they'll point. do anything to protect their own interests. They'll kill if they have to. Which is why I'm being targeted. Because I found out their secret. Oh, right. How and when did you learn all this? Well, I can't say yet. What? But it's true. Believe me. Can't Nice say. is dangerous. You have to understand, Date. You... You saw my dead body. What if you're part of the organization? Do you think that you were killed by Nice in the parallel world? Yes, I think so. You're the only person I can trust. What? Please, don't leave me. You have to protect me! Oh my god... I'm... I'm so... <laughs> oh my god, wait! Was the announcement just made? <laughs> I thought that was tomorrow! I might have mis... I might have misunderstood the time zone. It was... It was announced? Oh my god, wait... I, hold on, guys! Wait! I haven't even tweeted about it yet! I had a whole... Oh, 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 hold on. I had a tweet set up for this, guys. Hold on. I had a whole tweet set up for this, but I thought it was tomorrow. Wait! Ah! Oh my gosh! Okay, wait, guys. I gotta <laughs> retweet this. Hold on! I gotta... I have to change the image because uh, I put the wrong one. But yeah, so... I have a little bit of an announcement before I, you know, end the stream very soon. But, 
one of my debut goals have just been achieved and one of my goals was to do a game collaboration meaning like i'm not talking like a sponsored stream i'm talking like like more than that i mean more like um how do i put this <laughs> actually being a character in the game and <laughs> i have i had no idea that i was going to be in this but it's true i'm so so excited but i'm gonna be a gacha character and it's also a game that i've already you know i've played before <laughs> I played this before and I'm I'm so excited. Aha! I'm so so excited. Hold on, I'm finding the image because I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the correct one or not. Okay. I think I found it. Hopefully this is the right one. <laughs> but I'm so so excited. Ah I didn't know it was right now. I didn't prepare for this mentally. <laughs> Okay, wait, 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 guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta make sure I'm using the right one. Uno momento, uno momento. Um, I have like so many versions of my promotional image, so I just have to make sure I'm using the right one. <laughs> There's like a different version of this, but let me just double check. I think this is correct, hopefully. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna tweet it right now, everybody. Make sure you like and retweet it. I'm so excited! Ah! Okay, I tweet it. I tweet it. I'm so nervous. Wait, let me retweet it first. Let me re retweet, 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 and requote this as well. <laughs> ah! I'm so sorry of the awkward cutout. But, oh my gosh, I'm so happy! I'm oh so happy right now. Wah! Big announcement, big announcement, big announcement! Likes, I ret... Okay, 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 there we go. <laughs> Tweet. I cry. I cry tears. I cry tears. I'm so nervous because oh, it's my first time being in some project like this before, so... Um, I'm really nervous, but I hope you guys really like it. And you know how the game is like. I've shown you guys like what the game looks like on stream and stuff. It has really cool animations. I even have a little chibi form as well, and I have my own set of skills and an ultimate animation and everything. You guys are gonna be so, so hyped for it. And I'm gonna be so hyped too. And um... There is no, uh, like, promotional stream that I'm doing on my channel, but I am gonna play it, like, casually on my own. I'm gonna probably... There's more more likely a chance that I'm going to be, um... There's a chance that I'll just stream the game on my own, because I wanna... I wanna vote for myself. I have to get myself, so... <laughs> I'm so excited! Ah, I'm so excited! <laughs> My dreams came true. I'm so happy and I'm really, ha really happy with the results as well. Like, you know, I'm really happy how it looks and everything. Like, can you already see the promotional image? It looks so good. It's even gonna be like animated too, like live 2D and stuff like that. And there's gonna be so much more. It's so much more than this. So I'm so excited. Thank you! Thank you for the surprise! Thank you, thank you! Ah. I'm so excited. I it probably has been like a couple months since I um since I prepared for this. It's my first time. I'm a little nervous because um I did some voice acting for it, but you know I I'm not super. How do I put it? I'm not, <laughs> I always consider my voice acting more so like soft spoken and. A little shy and quiet, so I hope I did a good job. Hopefully, it sounds like you know I did put a lot of effort into it, but <laughs> I'm so excited. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the rainbow. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, my gosh. I'm so happy. Thank you. I didn't know there was gonna be another rainbow. 
the reverse one. Last time it was starting with an Akka, and now it's ending with an Akka. Thank you! Thank you so much! <laughs> Thank you, everyone! Let's, uh, wrap this up here, since, uh, I have to go to my meeting soon. But, thank you guys, everyone. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Iris' stories. Well, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't believe a word of it. But it is true that she was almost kidnapped by some mysterious group. And it's true that I saw her dead body in a cold storage warehouse. Those same people probably were the ones who moved it. And if that happened in a parallel world... Date, you can't tell me that you actually believe this. I do. Aiba, you use the Wadjet system too, right? <gasps> yeah. So what if I do? Do you suspect me, Date? <gasps> do you think I'm an agent of Nice? I mean... It's... Fine. This can be solved Possible. Easily. Why not look into her mind? Then you will discover if her story is true or not. A that, sink. That of kind course. of changed the subject, though, Iba. That sort of just changed the subject. Oh, dang it. Okay, I have to end it there, unfortunately, because a whole another whole new section is gonna happen. So we'll leave the cliffhanger at that. We're gonna leave the cliffhanger at um the whole situation with. Iris, and we're gonna have to find out on the next stream, unfortunately. So I'm gonna put a save file here. Next stream, we'll find out what if her story's true. I believe her story's true, but there, I feel like there's a lot more to it than what we've already just been known to. There's still a lot that people are withholding information of and secrets, so I think we will find that out soon in the next stream. So I don't know. I feel. I'm not sure if I completely believe her, because... Maybe she is telling us the truth, but she might also be a secret agent of that organization, too. Or Aiba, you know, she does use the Wadjet system. Um, or they're spying on us, maybe, through Aiba, but they haven't said anything. So th maybe that's how they're, like, able to figure out where we are and stuff. I don't know. I really don't know. So, we'll find out on the next stream next week. I'll try to do more streams of this. Probably at least two a week. Two weeks sounds pretty healthy. So, we'll do that. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, uh, like I said, everyone, thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy that I was able to announce something awesome. You know, it's been one of my long-time girl... Like, long, long-term goals of becoming a gacha character. So, I'm really happy that I had this opportunity. And especially if it's uh, a game that I've played before, so... I'm, I'm really excited. <laughs> and I look so awesome. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I look so awesome in the game. I'm so... I'm so adorable. <laughs> I don't say this a lot about myself, but... It's the one time I'll let it slip, so... I'm so excited, so... Thank you, everybody! Thank you, thank you! And I'll see you guys tomorrow! Uh, I think tomorrow we are doing... Oh, we are continuing Honkai Impact 3rd because a uh, new chapter part came out, I think, so... We have to catch up on that story, and... Yeah, that should be it! So, thank you, everyone! I gotta go to my meeting, so I'll see you guys! Also be no also fish. Thank you. Thank you, Jackson Me Super. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you all for the supers today. Thank you. Otsukare. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.